Purr, purr, purr. Welcome to Friday. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, Hello. where we play new games on classic consoles, specifically the Atari 2600. <laughs> With us, we have Atari yes. in the middle. That's wonderful. You can kind of see him on in the in the yeah, yeah a little bit of gray yeah. on the bottom. And yeah, he's here. Tanya Hello. is here Hello. with us. Welcome everyone who is joining who are joining us live mm -hmm. on a Friday evening. Come Ready to play some games? Oh, oh come say he's I. gonna love this. Oh, I know. He loves being <laughs> picked up. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. You happy? No. Yeah. Um. So. <gasps> What games do we have today? Let's check it out. We have four games today. Excellent. And I've uh, given you some, I've uh, saved up some puzzle games. <gasps> Yay! I love puzzle games. With a little games. bit of action, not like staring at the screen. It's a little bit more, a little bit faster than just staring at the screen. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Um, we've got Matchy from 2006. Mm -hmm. Still a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Never declared finish. By Supercat. Uh, Melbourne Tatty by CP Face. Uh, from 2007, Isolate from 2010 by Thump Nugget. That's a work in progress. And 21 Blue by Revenge. Mm. And that is a blackjack game. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, 21. 21. And that's from 2011. The best part of Friday is here. Aww, it's Atari. Nice. <laughs> playing Atari games. Yes. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers hey, that support the show. <laughs> Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dan ABC, Dietrich 4, Drexel, Emmanuel Ferreira, Emudan, Ground Trooper, Gix 1978, Ice, posted Johnny WC 23, Cal L Prime 1959, Carl G. Croco 2600, Laud Mott, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro, Retro Salary Man, Spartan 581, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkist, and Tiki Dan K. And Atari's like, nipping at me he's yeah. like stop i was gonna say uh your me. list of twitch subscribers is now almost right off the screen so yeah it's yeah pretty it's, good. it's, it's pretty very good. very long <laughs> it's good to it's, see. i've actually limited it to the screen so it'll just get mm. smaller and smaller font and when we can't read it anymore then we have to do something else mm. but uh yeah we we have the most subscribers we've ever had Right now? Yes. That's excellent. It's huge. Thank it's you so much for tuning support. in and supporting. Because yeah, that's, that's really, great. really cool. So. And you can support the show too yeah. as well if you have Amazon Prime mm -hmm. and you link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Mm -hmm. Or you can throw dollars if you like. Don't have to do that. You can do it for free if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Um, and I want to thank all the people who are tuning in tonight on Twitch mm -hmm. live. Nathan Strom, Dan AVC, Charles Reese, Ricardo Pym, RC70E, Cafe Man 2D, Arena Foot has made it tonight live. Yay. He's very happy. Because <laughs> uh, he says, yeah, it's been a while since I've caught a live show. Yeah, we have, I haven't seen his name up in a couple of yeah. episodes. I don't uh, think so. We've also got Double Doodles, which is a new Hello. name I haven't heard before. Spartan581 and PHL. P one P one L H whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I think he said just call him H four. H four once. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, awesome. Yes, twenty one yeah. blue is a naughty blackjack game, uh -oh. but it has a not naughty setting. <laughs> it's got a. Uh, it's, a go it's got a, called a boss key setting, boss so you can switch it over quickly. Gotcha. If things are going They're going awry, if the boss <laughs> walks by and, and behind you while you're playing your Atari. Interesting. I guess, I guess you could play it okay. on through a web page. Oh, okay. Or an emulator. <laughs> I'm just wondering why you have an Atari 2600 at work. Yeah. Oh, nothing. I'm testing the spreadsheets with this 2600 with this joystick. You know what? You've got some young millennial boss. They wouldn't have a clue what it is anyway. So, no, you know, wouldn't. what is this? I don't know. It's uh, some new, yeah, it's not a new game IT pad. tool. You know? Yeah, that's right. It's, yeah. it, it's a great input device. Why wouldn't you have an Atari 2600? Yeah, exactly. That, <laughs> I have one at work. Because this room is my work, mm -hmm. and there is one in the room. So therefore, I'm trying to think I what am... what you could pretend your Atari 2600 was to confuse younger younger people. Decoration. Um, you know, you could be a retro decorated. No, room. but I mean, like, what piece of modern oh. equipment could you pretend it is? It's like it's it our looks new. Like it's it's from our the new 70s. router. Like I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe you just put a sticker on the front. Yeah. It's the router has some switches. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so in the mail news and feedback, uh, Edward Smith, uh, posted in the Atari age forums today, yesterday, 
uh, is cart artwork for one versus one pro tennis uh, with a message. He says, this will be available in May, along with one versus one baseball and root beer pong. I'm going to be at the Korgs Con in Columbus, Ohio, with good deal with the Good Deal Games booth. Only a seven-hour drive from D.C. <laughs> I guess that's where he lives. This will be my last hurrah. With one versus basketball, pro golf, and pro bowling, I hope these are worthy additions to the 2600 library. Take care. Mm. Thanks to all who follow this forum and provide b feedback and encouragement. Thanks to Daryl Spice and Kurt Howe for indulging very stupid questions early on. Thanks to Albert for hosting the site. Thanks to Ferg's podcast for motivation to start. Live long and prosper. That sounds like a bye-bye. <laughs> I'm done with making Aww. homebrew yeah. kind of message. Yeah. Hopefully that's not it. Mm. He, he's made a ton of games in the past two years, like a ton of mm. games. So maybe he's just like, I'm done for now. It, I'm he burnt needs out. A break. I need yeah. a break. He's yeah. done. He's done quite a bit. So yeah. hopefully he'll come back and make more games because he's he's contributed quite a bit mm -hmm. of good games to the library. Yeah, a whole bunch of sports games or sports sports like games. Mm -hmm. Like beer pong is not a sports game, but it's still kind of a a fun game. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of two player games, which is great because we always need uh, more two player games. Yeah, yeah, I love two player games too. I think it's a yeah, Great new option. office computer order of installation plug in power on, on. install <laughs> Stella. Stella. That's right. First, first thing you install is Stella. Then upgrade your browsers. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but you have to get Stella using Internet Explorer because <laughs> that's the only browser built in. That's true. Then you get Firefox and Chrome. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be playing uh, four games today. The first one is Matchy. Okay. From two thousand six. So. Nope, don't leave. Don't leave. You can stay here, kittens. And we played a game like this in the past. Um, and you might recognize its kind of style of game. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a color matching game, but not a falling brick matching. It's not like... Um, it's not Tetris. What, what are those called? Those three match three in a row. They fall into place. They're different, like diamonds and stuff. Oh, oh, Can't yeah. I, like a, What's like the a most gem famous matching one? game. Gem? Yeah, like, yeah, I know gems. what you mean. Yeah, like gem matching There's games. a million of yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. With a million different names. I'm sure there's a, a, a term for them. Bejeweled! But. Bejeweled, yeah, that was... That's one of the most famous ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is not a falling one. They're already in place. So you're just matching And them. they don't... You're not even matching them. You don't even twist them around. Oh. Um... Let me just get it up on the screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It's kind of working. And boom. Boom. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Why? Oh, no. Okay. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay. That works. That's fine. I upgraded the Stella to 6.1 and it's acting differently on the screen, mm -hmm. like displaying differently, but I just go full screen and it looks It's good. okay. Yeah. yeah. It's Maybe. ratio is, it's ratio is different or something. Yeah. It's ratio. The way it displays the, um, oh, it goes away. If I click on a different screen. Really? That's weird. Mm. It's showing up Stop. though on the, it's, well, I know, it's but if I click away from it, it oh. goes away. So, so they've changed the way. Maybe I can go into the options. Um, video. It's on full screen. Center window. Multi threading is not going to do anything. I want it persistent. Like stay on the screen. Hmm. Don't minimize if I click away onto another screen. Hmm. It doesn't have that setting. So we'll just have to deal with it. Probably. Most of the time we're always on that anyway. Okay. So it's okay. Can I play? Is that going to be a problem? Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I just wanted to, because I usually oh, I... Yes, um, I oh, it disappeared now. Yeah. Usually I set the volume. Oh. And if I set the volume, before you couldn't do any input, but now you can't even see it when oh, I'm setting yeah, the volume. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Yeah. And I don't know if it's even going to continue mm -hmm. when I set the volume. Okay. Anyway. So. You are the true perfect... Co okay. <laughs> Combination of perfect and cute. Am I the perfect one or the cute one? <laughs> I'm going to go with cute. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, The Empire Strikes. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, let's get into this game. Mm. This was, I think you can guess kind of what to do in this one. No. 
No? There you go. And click it again. Again? Oh, oh, yeah. Man, I know play. these games. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I so probably this just first, screwed everything up, but that's so okay. So this is uh, from 2006 by John Payson, a.k.a. Mm. Supercat. Uh, first posted in 2005. This build is from 2006. It's a 4K game. Mm. Other games he's made, uh, Matchy, Piper Panic, and a number of hacks. And you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, Matchy and Chunkout are both based on the same game, aka Chain Shot. Oh, so that's the original, where the original idea came from. It's called something called Chain Shot. Because mm -hmm. I guess it's a chain of colors. Um, yeah, we did, that's, that's the game we played last time was Chunkout. I think I might have it on cartridge because I couldn't find a, a ROM for it. I must have bought it. Let's see. Don't see it. Don't see it. Oh, there it is. Chunk out 2600. There we go. Yeah, so this is what we played last time. And it's a very, okay. very similar game. And we played that... Uh, on September 14th, 2018. So a little while ago. I can't remember that. <laughs> uh, a year and a half ago. I uh, vaguely recall, yeah. Yeah. So when it was uh, posted by Supercat, I couldn't find anything in the Atari Age forums except in his blog about it. And this seems like in the middle of working on it. So I don't know, maybe deleted the thread or something. Uh, this is a port of the old PC game from 1990, 1998 called Clickomania. Oh. Clickomania. John created Toy Shop Trouble and Stratagems Deluxe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Nathan Strong. Uh, so we post on October 26, 2006, about Matchy. I've restart, restarted my work on my Matchy game after finding a solution for annoying TIA quirk. Although the 2600 shows 160 pixels across the screen, Score mode can corrupt the color of the last half pixel on the left half of the screen. Half pixel? Hmm. How do you draw a half pixel? Hmm. Don't know what he's referring to there. Uh, if the last play field... Oh, he explains it. If the last play field pixel... Oh, half pixel. Because he's using uh, play field. So half pixel would be actually two pixels. If that was what he means. Uh, if the last playfield pixel on the left half of the screen is mm. set, the 77th through 80th pixel should appear in P0 color. Unfortunately, the right half of that playfield pixel will show up in an indeterminate color, which may be affected by uh, color playfield, even though the playfield should appear entirely in P0 and P1 colors. No, I think he's doing this in... Oh, he's using play field and player colors to get okay. to get to get all the colors to get all those colors because because there's quite a few colors on there, right? Mm. So he uses play field, player zero, and player one, which are the building blocks. And so I don't know how he gets around because there's actually four colors there. Mm -hmm. So how like he's got. <laughs> He's got green and his, as his base on the right-hand side. I don't know. And on the left-hand side, let me see this. How does he have so many playfield colors? Oh, my goodness. Interesting. <laughs> he must be interesting. mixing two colors, like yes. different fields. That's how he does it. Yeah. Two different fields, drawing at 30 frames a second. Um, still don't have a working 2600. No, I do not. <laughs> Sadly. It, at this moment in time, it is due to lack of time, not lack of knowledge or mm. even though I do have a lack of knowledge, but I have things <laughs> that I can do that I know how to do, but I just haven't had the time for it because even today has been barely made the show. Uh, it's just bad, 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 bad. Um, doing pretty good? No. No? Well, I'm doing some, okay. I'm can you get those? Okay. Yeah, you kind of have to plan ahead a bit. Right? Well, you can only plan so far. Yeah. You have to see what certain colors will bring together from other colors. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just screw yourself. Which... The goal in this game is to get the highest score with this particular 
play field. Yeah. Because at the beginning of the game, if you saw, there's a seed. And it was at zero, I think, the seed. Game so you yeah. can replay the same game over again. Yeah, you can retry it. And so this score is your high score on that seed. Yeah. And you can try a different seed or try and beat your score on the yeah. same seed. You want to try and clear the screen, which is very hard. Yes. Um, and but probably but impossible. You get a, a high score from getting more bricks of the same color at the same time. Yeah. So, so two is not as many points as getting. Yeah. Two times five. So as good as it is 10. to get all the bricks on the screen, if you can set it up so you get a few with a lot, then you yeah. can get a lot of a, a high score that way too. I've played a lot. I've played games like this before. <laughs> There's a bunch of strategies for them, but yeah. Yeah, it's trying been a while. to like sacrificing yeah. small bits to get bigger bits is better than. It depends on the scoring. It mm. depends on how it scores. But, um, and you always feel this emotional need to try and clear the entire screen. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. It's very, very hard to do. I don't think it's impossible, but it's very hard to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah. if you could. Nathan Strem says, I don't think I've ever cleared this level. I came within about five squares. Yeah. Five I've played squares. similar, similar games where I've, I have cleared the level, but it's, it's, it's a bit of luck as well. Oh, why is the game over? Um, because the there game... are no more moves. Because the game is able to detect <laughs> that there are no colors beside each other. Yeah, there's no more moves. I yeah. can't. You have to have at least two to clear it. So. If you want to read from. Sure. Um, I'll hold this. Yeah. No. Yeah, we got it. Uh, there. That's, For quite a while? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give this one a try. 5275. Yeah. 5275. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot. <laughs> uh, so we'll stay on the same game. Yeah, sure. Um. Mm. Anyway, so for quite quite a while, I shelled the game because I couldn't get it to look good on a real 2600. I think it looks amazing now. I also yeah. like the Easter theme of, of all the, <laughs> the pastels. Uh, Lovely, just gorgeous. They're very good pastel yeah. colors. Yeah, very kind of unicorny. I like it. Um, <laughs> uh, real 2600. Finally, though, I figured out the solution. Display missile zero at pixel 79 on any scan line where that play field pixel is set. Problem solved. Oh. No idea what that means, but <laughs> so he pa he patched it okay. with a different piece instead of some other piece. Like he uses, he's using the missile instead of whatever he was using. Before, oh, I see. Okay. Um, to make it work better. I'm curious though. Does anyone know any other race conditions that can cause Atari Twenty Six Hundred to be split? Mm. Again, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> uh, splitting colors, like it just misbehaving. Gotcha. When you're expecting something else. This is this is back from 2006. Uh, so he doesn't need an answer now. <laughs> yeah. So then there's there's another post um, entry two days later. Uh, this version has some significant changes. I rearranged some variables, so six bytes worth of temp variables are now overlaid with kernel temp variables. Hopefully, I've eliminated all conflicts there. It's now necessary to click twice to remove blocks. This allows for a limited preview undo function, which I think is great. Oh, yeah. Um, I like that. Yeah, I think that's good because then you don't accidentally click in the wrong that too. box and, yeah. and do something you don't want to and totally screw yourself up. Um, where was I? Uh, if you click somewhere and don't want to remove the blocks that turn brown, click somewhere else instead. Perfect. I added some feeble sound effects as well. Nope. They're not that feeble. Uh, let me They're know functional. how they are. Also, if the machine mi misses the necessary retrace timing, an error screen will appear. Please write down the number or symbols that appear and let me know. Then press fire to return to the game. So they have mm. some kind of error oh, detection in there. So That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, yeah, I don't think the rest of this is... Probably a different game. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Like, that is not the same game. <laughs> no. Oh, you're doing well. Uh, we'll see. Uh -oh. uh, you might just My have the last one. Last move. Your last move. You kicked my ass. Do I get another turn? Yep, on Are a different screen. Different screen? Yeah, okay. so we can just play a different screen and Alrighty. also. And also compete on the different screen too. Mm -hmm. Good job. That's why I have her on the puzzle days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or actually wait. Or I have a fighting chance Don't. to actually get a high score. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh. There you go. So pick the next game. Oh, maybe I have to. 
Whoa. Oh. Oh, no. It's random. Uh, oh. Left, right, up, down. What? Oh. Oh. What were we playing before? Zero. So you can just pick whatever. As All right. As long as it's... 609 it is. 6,009. 6,009. Wait, how do I press? I do it. Oh. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much, Arena Foot. Now that is some ASM homebrew tech talk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Uh, it's interesting to some people and gibberish to others. <laughs> Wouldn't say gibberish, but. Uh... Well, yeah, they know some of the words. <laughs> is and colors. <laughs> But it's good to read out information about how they've developed the game. Yes. Um, but, I mean, the game is very complete. And it's too bad it didn't uh, get put out on cartridge. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, the display... I like the colors, like you said. It's really good colors. My wife always uh, hearts me... Oh, beats me at these types of games. She always <laughs> wins Baku Baku, for example. Do you know that name? That game? It sounds familiar, but I... I... Baku Baku. Baku Baku. Let me look that up. Let's see. Baku Baku. Baku Baku. I'm sure it's another puzzle game. Mm -hmm. Puzzle type game. It, oh, yeah, it's a falling block game, falling block matching game, head to head. Uh, Baku Baku Animal is a falling blo block puzzle game released uh, by Sega in 1995. Oh, outside of Japan, it's called Baku Baku. Though the media still commonly refers to it as Baku Baku Animal. The game is dedicated as Sega's first ever network compatible PC game. Arcade system Sega Titan Video. So, my strategy was trying to eliminate small pieces to make bigger pieces. I think that does it, because certainly you get bigger score for bigger yes. pieces. And there's some but, lot of teal going on there that you could get together. Oh, oh no, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, like, it looks like a really good board actually. Mm -hmm. but you have to watch how things fall. Mm -hmm. Like that is just going to drop everything down. Hmm. I see that Clickomania has down, been downloaded over 900,000 times since 98. Clickomania? Clickomania? Is that? Oh, I see. That's the original game. That is a lot of downloads. My tip is always work from the bottom up. Yeah. But sometimes it's, you can screw yourself with the stuff at the top being out of order. I mean, if you don't have any but options... But it can work really well. If you don't have any options that are clear, mm -hmm. working from the bottom is good because it'll create new options. Mm -hmm. um, because working from the top down doesn't make new things usually. Except you, if you do that, like that yellow Tetris piece at the top, that's mm -hmm. going to drop that teal down, which doesn't help you. Um, or you can wait for more yellows to come together. Uh, that's a good one. And there's a whole bunch of pink that's not going to come together. So you might as well get rid of the pink and hopefully... Well, that'll bring the green in. Oh, no, it won't. Not until you do that first. There you go. That's a nice green piece. Could it go bigger? It could go a little... Uh, it's going to cut it off from that other teal if you do that one. good oh no you should have done the top one first i isolated the yellow but that's undo okay. undo it's okay <laughs> and now it isolated the teal on the right hand side uh, yeah oh no no the big one's at the bottom first that's not a bad strategy for it. Oof! Big points there. Mm -hmm. This almost looks like it's winnable. Mm. Almost. Ooh. Get that purple together. That 
that's not a bad plan to get that teal. It gets the purple together and the pink. Oh, the yellow is done. Yeah, I'm screwed with the yellow, but... Pink will come together. Do that bottom purple. If you do the bottom purple, am I isolating that purple piece from the green? Yeah, I'm screwed with the green. Yep. Unless... No, 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 go away. Just click on anything else. Uh... Looks like a good game. Yeah, it's does exactly what it is meant to do. Ooh, you got the teal. Wow. Yeah. Two pieces. <laughs> Close. Well, how well, am I beat supposed that. to beat that? <laughs> I mean, it's possible if I get bigger uh, chunks, but not by leftover it's, pieces. It's the big chunks do give you a high score. So sometimes maybe having leftover pieces. I don't know if you get an extra boost if you get them all. Like if you get an extra. Oh, you got them all, so you get. Oh, I bet. Because because ga the other games I've played, they do give you like a bonus if you clear the whole screen. But uh, there's yeah, there's different approaches and. If you you can try to aim to clear the screen, or you can just try for big groupings and then not care about all the little ones that are left. But already failing. Already failing. Yes, it is a good game. Uh, you can tell because I get very quiet when I play. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is someone talking over there? I can't. <laughs> blah blah blah. Uh, Go for some big teals. <laughs> I'm not being strategic. No, that that's okay. Sometimes it problem. just works out in your favor, too. Bad pop-ups on the oh, laptop. No, I don't know why this keeps coming up. It seems to stop for a while. Not during the show. It loves doing it during know. the show. I don't know why it does that. Uh, sure. Yeah, it's also about not isolating colors, like single yeah. blocks of color, and you have to weigh your options. But uh, but yeah, sometimes it just works out too. Yeah, like get the pink. Yeah, there you go. That's Hooray! good. That worked out well. Maybe I can rescue this. Um, so what are some problem areas, these yellows? The other thing you can problem. do is target certain colors to try and clear the board of certain colors, because by doing that, you're bringing other colors together, too. So Ooh. that's another strategy. Try and get these pinks. Remember, you got a lot of single pinks, right? So... Yeah, I know. Like... There you go. I'm making some big ones. Mm, I think I'll do this pink. So if you d drop that yellow, this one, well, let, or this one. Uh, so let me just think. That drops it to three. So you're, yeah. If you drop that by two, then you could get rid of the pink on the above it. Ooh, I can. Then twelve help a lot. Yes. Yeah. So that. Now. I don't wanna. Now you you might up. screw yourself <laughs> over more, but that big pink one. As long as you have two that you can place side by side, you can get rid of them. Yes. So, you know, you have the two pinks on the far side there. Yeah. I don't know if you'll... You no, know, if you if you drop the, the green, you can get the pinks. Ooh, yes, that's true. Um, and Five, then one. And then you can get the pinks. And yeah. then, yeah, so there's little things um, like that. Then the pinks are done. Yeah, yeah, get your pinks. Yeah, yep. there you go. Yay, one color's done. It's <laughs> not bad. And then drop that purple... To get all the yellows, the oh, Ooh. uh, the yeah, the one, two, no, it won't oh work. no, it won't work. I could do the green, but then you're you've got an isolated green. But I don't still know more if more greens. Have... There's more greens. Yeah, though. that's true. If I do the green and the purple, I'll get all the yellows. Yep. And that is pretty good. I'm not sure why I'm helping you, but <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna clear the board. <laughs> you might. This is a totally possible thing to uh, do. Yeah, it actually is. If I do this green... No. Uh, oh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That'll bring that purple yep, in. Yeah, you're going to clear the board. So I just helped you clear the stupid board. I do see, that. that's why I shouldn't help. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll see if you get a boost. 5, 6, 60. No. Oh, no, I got a better, I got a higher score than you. In... Did somebody write her score down? Oh, that's okay. It was 62 something. So. Oh, um, but I cleared the board. But interesting that something. you managed to clear the board. Yep. Um, Actually, we can rewind. Two titles on the screen. Uh, yeah. The oh, you can rewind it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. So sixty-five ten. So funny that you managed to clear the screen, but I got a higher score because I got more colors. So there should be a bonus. <laughs> Maybe there should be a bonus. For yeah. Exactly. It. Yeah. 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 So sixty-five ten for Tanya. Yeah. That, yeah, it's cool to see it cleared. <laughs> that is, look, empty. Yeah, see, two two heads are better than one. So That's there right. You, yeah. you did help me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I did go very haphazard at first. I was just yeah, but sometimes looking for yeah, random things. Sometimes yeah. just getting rid of some of it helps to to clarify the board too. So. Oh, I think that's supposed yeah. to be on the camera. Could you put that oh, on the camera? Yeah. Um. So let's. Uh, should we do another one? Do you want to do one more or? Uh, it's up to you. I feel like we cleared the board, so like I, mean, this is I a good feel ending. I feel like that's a that's a good way to end. <laughs> it's a good ending. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Yep. Board clear. Yeah. That is that's I'm, not I'm easy quite to impressed do, I actually. <laughs> it's uh, not often you get kind of lucky with that. See, yeah. and the clearing the colors, focusing on colors to get yes. them down can that actually is help a, good a lot. Strategy. That can actually help out at, towards the end of the game. You have to kind of yeah. maybe focus on big blocks at the beginning to get the high points and then focus on uh, clearing colors. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the next game mm -hmm. is Melbourne Taddy. And this is puzzle and action game. Mm -hmm. um, and this actually came out on cartridge. So let's just go to it so you can start it up. No idea what the name means. I'm sure we'll Melbourne run across Taddy. what it means in a bit. I, I see Melbourne. I assume it's something Australian, but... <laughs> That's a very good guess. Now just what Tatty yep. is. Okay. It just goes away. It's so annoying. Ah! No. Don't start yet. Don't start yet. The cats are going crazy. Someone locked in a bathroom? Hold on. <laughs> okay. It sounds like a locked-in cat. Um, so this is from 2007 by Edward Griffiths, a.k.a. CP Face, first posted July 30th, 2006. This build is from November 2nd, 2007, the original cart release date. It's a 4K game with a with a title screen. Was there a cat locked? No. Nope. Oh. Okay. Don't know Just what was going on there, but... Being crazy as yeah. usual. Um, this is uh, available, older versions are available in the Atari Age forums. Um, this version is the cart version. It's not available. Mm. Um, we didn't. We've never played this before. So this was originally released uh, by Neo Games, um, by Scott Dayton, who runs Neo Games, and now it's available through Atari Age. Um, so let's actually let's look at the artwork um, that was included. That is included in the box if you do buy the game. What is going on? <laughs> the cats There's are running up and down the stairs. Cats making sounds and running and. Oh, it's Atari. One hundred percent Atari. What are you very doing, buddy? Suspicious. He's coming in. Okay. What are you doing? What what what, what are you up to? What was all that about? Huh? He's a trouble. Troublemaker. He you want you want up here? Come here. Let me switch the screen over for a second. Atari. Oh, that's not the right link. That sucks. Come here. Come here, bud. Let's see. There we go. There's the cat butt. Oh, yeah. no. Where's all the photos of it? Oh, oh, it's just down a bit. There it is. Okay. So let me get it up on the screen for everyone. Uh, 11. There we go. Excellent. Actually, that looks really good. So this is um, some of the things... This doesn't show the box, but it shows the included um, instruction manual. And you get a little fold-out cardboard cutout that you can make of um, the character, the oh, main character, cute. and what's chasing you. Nice. <laughs> uh, video cart like earridge uh, for use with the Atari 2600 video computer system. A little spelling mistake. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, but that's not on the manual. 
Uh, looks like that's just on the oh they on just, the promotional on the promotional sheet, sheet yeah um, yeah made with the Batari basic uh, paper paper miniature cutouts uh, after playing Melbourne Taddy oh, I can't quite read that I don't know if I'll be able to if I zoom in oh 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 uh, for your Atari system play them again in the real world. Tools you'll need, white glue or glue stick. Safety scissors, make sure you have safety scissors. Uh, instructions, fold miniature in half, then glue the folded base on the cutout white circles for extra support. Glue here, and the bad guy there. I can't quite read that though. And I guess that's a little sheet that comes with it. Cute. Instruction manual, and a very, very nice artwork by Atari Boy. Who did this who did the artwork for baby pac-man if you want to grab that pink one off the top there at the top yeah very nice because uh, i was looking through his other artwork and um so he did the artwork for this too nice many like a decade and a half later wow so that's really really cool very nice so we'll go back there we go so let's start up the game for you Okay, mm -hmm. ready? From Melbourne Taddy. Mm -hmm. What year? This was from I think 2007. I said 2007 when the cartridge came out. So you are the brown square, and you gotta stay away from him. And he moves one square at a time adjacent to him. So you have to make sure you're always two away from him. What am I trying to do? He's trying to get the gold things. Oh, this is super bizarre. It's like <laughs> so you get stuck in mazes, and you have yeah, to but I'm not moving. Like the maze is moving, not me. You can move with the joystick. No, but but yeah. So the, mo the maze moves, and don't get trapped in it. Well, yeah, I am trapped in it. Well, you have to keep moving when it, when it changes. We'll get this to the is manual. Super bizarre. We'll get to the manual. <laughs> All you have to do is know that that guy moves one square at a time. Yeah. And you need to so you need to stay two squares ahead. And don't get trapped. Ah. Now you're dead. No! It's weird! Oh, you just barely survived that. Oh no! Oh, oh there he got me. And you moved. Uh, <laughs> it's, so, it's very unusual. 22 copies were originally made by Scott Dayton on November 2nd, 2007 through Neo, Neo Games. And then it was handed off to Atari Age uh, to sell the ah. unlimited run of the game. Uh, I kind of get it now. It's like it is different. It, it is, different. is. It is definitely different. Um, so you've decided to seek your fortune as an adventurer. Explore the mazes of Melbourne Taddy. It's a place. Oh man. Uh, for elusive and valuable treasures, just be careful. As this is no average maze. The walls shift and move with a life of their own, and to confuse and disorient you. And beware of the hungry wolf that prowls the maze, looking for a tasty morsel, just like you. Melbourne Taddy features 20 levels where your goal sounds pretty straightforward. Collect as much treasure as you can. It's really loud. I didn't turn it up for <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it is. You just died, right? Oh, yeah. Still loud. Sorry. Sorry, That's everyone. Okay. One second. There we go. That should be good. Hopefully, you won't die. I will. Yep. Guaranteed. Will. Run! That only works as if, if you have an out. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you don't always want to go for the treasure because you'll be vulnerable. But you do it's eventually away. want the, the treasure. Ah. Missed it. Run! Ah. Run! Oh, just in time. Uh, collect as much treasure as you can, but, f but what fun is collecting treasure if there's no danger? There, This is no ordinary, ah. ordinary dungeon. Every few seconds the walls move, potentially trapping you until they move again. Now, this might not normally cause you too much consternation. It's, uh... It's, 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 it feels very random. Like, like, <laughs> I'm not sure even what the strategy would be at this point. You just, Stay just, too away at all times. Yeah, but you can't always because the maze restricts your movement. Yep. So you just kind of move and it's no, like, no. no. You moved right. Well, I was them. trying to, I was trying to get past him. You can only move two squares pretty much every turn before you get trapped. Yeah. Uh... Except that you're not alone in this maze. Oh, a dangerous wolf is pursuing you relentlessly, guarding the treasure and trying to thwart your attempts. 
at taking it. And while the walls will block you, they won't stop the wolf. You do have one tool at your disposal. Ah, I haven't told you about this. I forgot about this. Oh, that was sneaky. You can kind of get around him. Yeah, what tool is this? Um, at the beginning of each maze, you'll receive three decoys. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, he'll go towards the decoy. After placing a decoy, the wall will ignore you until he reaches the decoy, only to discover your deception. You must collect ten treasures in each maze before moving on to the next. Can you survive all twenty levels, or you become a tasty treat for the wolf? Ah! Oh, you're missed. Get it now. Run. Uh, included uh, includes cartridge and beautifully illustrated 12-page full-color manual art card and two cut stand-up cutouts. Uh, authored Edward Griffith, Griffiths. Additional programming Fred Quimby. Label and artwork John Calcano. Manual design Tony Morse. So let's go to the actual ah. manual. Sorry. Squish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The decoys don't work if Very you're in the same spot key. as the No, decoy. I used up all my decoys, uh, okay. so, yeah. So you got 90? 90. Yeah, yeah. 90? <laughs> you going to give it a try? Uh, you want to read the manual? Sure. Okay. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Is that your best game? So far, I think. Okay. <laughs> Where did you get to? Uh, nowhere. You just opened it up. Oh, you just opened it. I think you mentioned, just be careful, this is no average maze, so... Uh, some of it might be duplicated from the okay. store. Game instructions. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to connect your Atari 2600 or compatib compatible video game system to your television set. Oh, God, I went right towards him. Stupid. <laughs> uh, plug in your joystick controllers. Melbourne Taddy uses no, the left those. joystick. Skip all that. <laughs> That's just being uh, silly. All right. Game, like, game select switch. People like including those <laughs> in the manuals. Game select yes. switch. There are 20 levels in Melbourne Taddy. The opening screen will display your most recent score until you press select. Keep pressing select to choose the level you wish to start from. The Daddy, default is no. level one. So I'm assuming we're, we're playing level one. Yes. Yes. Stompy noise, eh? Mm -hmm. Stompy cats. Hold the joystick. Uh, 100. Oh, you made you, you, you passed the. I couldn't even get past the level. Um, press far on the joystick. Blah blah. Reset to begin. Navigating the maze. Use your left joystick to move around the screen. Walls will block you, but they won't block the wolf. Try to gather the golden treasures as they appear oh on the screen. You get ten points for every treasure you collect. If you can recover ten treasures, you'll move on to the next ten. level. Okay. So I got very close to my ten treasures, but. Yes. Um, Press the fire button to put down a golden decoy. The wolf will leave you alone and pursue the decoy until he grabs it. Use this time to put some distance between you. Um, you get three decoys at the start of every level. Every time you place a decoy, your decoy meter on the left side of the screen will drop. You get 50 bonus points for every unused decoy at the end of the level. Ooh, I didn't use any. I think I used one. Yeah. So you get a lot of points for not using them. Yeah. Hazards. The wolf pursues you relentlessly across the screen. 220. Can somebody type that in? <laughs> and 10, you got 90. I don't need to put that. Not a viable score. Oh, I should stay. oh God. Trap myself. Run! No! Oh, we went the wrong way. Uh, uh, strategy uh, hints for high scoring. Conserve your decoys. You can get up to 150 bonus points at the end of each level for them. No, 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 no. But learn the best place to put them so you can get through an emergency alive. Learn to manipulate the wolf. Don't just go rushing into the maze. Plan your route carefully and trick the wolf into pursuing you away from the next tra Damn treasure. It. Every level is different. Learn how the walls move in each level and get a feel for where the, your best opportunities for retreat may lie. So, so the the maze oh is consistent. Oh. <gasps> how how how? I'm in the wall. I just happen to be in the wall. No. Interesting. Damn it. I think I think that was a bug, because I think he should have gotten you. No, uh, I talked with uh, Scott Dayton. Oh, yeah. He says it was a bug, but they thought to keep it, they thought keeping it in would be more interesting. Ah. No. Because you can be trapped in a wall. Yeah, I guess so. Makes it harder. Yeah. 70. Terrible. Thanks, Arena Foot. Um, program development. Melbourne Taddy was my first serious attempt at an original Atari 2600 game. Uh, 
I knew that I wanted to make a classic style arcade game, but I didn't really know much more than that. Prior to that, I had made practice games but had no screen background elements whatsoever, so I began by thinking of ways to use the background sort of as a character that the player would have to interact with. Very good use of the Very background. Very cool, yeah. Oh my god. Since I've always loved mazes, I came up with the idea of a maze where the walls keep moving around. It is very disconcerting when you first start playing. You're like, what's going on? What is happening? Because it's unusual. Yeah. I spent about a week coming up with the programming that makes the maze walls move and amusing myself by navigating my little square through it. I had a vague sort of idea that the game should involve collecting treasure and avoiding monsters, but I didn't have a firm direction to go with, to go with it until I had a conversation about it with my good friend James Cliff. Now, I've known James for several years, and he's been an influence on a number of my hobby projects. For example, he once drew a cartoon fox who became a main character in the first practice game that I wrote. I think I just got lucky on that one game. It is not ah. easy. So here comes the name. So when I told him that I had a new idea for an Atari game, he asked me, is it Melbourne Taddy? <laughs> is it Melbourne Taddy? I asked him what Melbourne Taddy was, and he explained that it was just a, a hilariously random name that he had come up with. Okay. I haven't been able to find any other reference to the expression <laughs> Melbourne Taddy, nor have I been able to get any other explanation out of him. But I like the way it sounded, sort of like Indiana Jones or Pitfall Harry, yeah. so it stuck. Yeah, that's Funny. He also suggested that the antagonist should be a wolf. Armed with his suggestions, I set to work on it. <laughs> Use decoys, Caffey Man 2D says. Yeah, I should be doing that yeah. because I just had forgotten all about it. I was like, go for the points. Yeah. Go for the points. But yeah, it's smart to use the decoy when yeah. he's like right on you and you don't really have a good way out. I decided early on that the wolf should operate on a cycle of moving and resting to give the player a chance to get out of its way. Yeah, if it really moved nice. every every turn, it would be a bit too much, I think. Yeah. Uh, I originally wanted the speed of the game to increase as the level progressed and then drop back oh, at God. the beginning of the next level. But the more I played the earlier versions, the more I realized that the natural focus of the game wasn't speed but moving oh. strategically, luring the wolf away from the part of the screen where you want to go and then eluding him. So the speed progression became a lot more subtle. The level select feature was added because the game was turning out to be very difficult. Since the point of the game isn't so much to beat every level as, as it is to get a high score, I decided to let the player start at any level he cho chose so that novices can get a taste for what they can expect in later levels and proficient players can go right to their favorite level or the level they need the most practice on without a lot of hassle. Smart. Yeah. And then I started asking people on the Atari Age forums for opinions about it. I got quite a few helpful suggestions, but the one that had the biggest impact came from two user users, Pickles and J Baines. Pickles, Pickles suggested Pickles? Pickles, yeah. <laughs> oh, great, it's a great Pickles. name. Pickles suggested that the player have the option to drop bait to throw the wolf off his trail. And J Baines su suggested that it be limited to three drops per level. It added exactly the sort of finishing touch that I thought the game needed. It, yeah, it's it's a great balancing uh, tactic. I haven't been using it, but, but I can see I might need it now. Mm. Oh, the finished version of Melbourne Taddy contains bug fixes and graphical enhancements made by Fred Quimby, the developer of the programming language that I used throughout Melbourne Taddy's development. I owe him two debts, two debts of gratitude then, uh, firstly because the game would never have begun without him, and secondly because it would never have resembled a real game without him. Nice. This game uses the number of lives left mm. is the life you're on, because it said I had one life left. But I actually had the life that I'm using right now. That's not the normal way lives work in video games. Mm, yeah. But it is a way that lives can work. It's just not, I think, the normal way. What you're used to. Yeah. yeah. 160. Nope, I did much better last time. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Me? Oh, okay. So I, I'm getting I got, a bit better at I it. I got to artistic in terms, development. In terms of strategy. A lot of the decision, mm. decisions I made about the game's graphics were based on my limited experience program in the Atari and my, des my desire to work with Fred Quimby's Atari Basic. In particular, I decided for better or worse that I wouldn't put up with any flickering characters on screen, which you don't, because he uses one character for the wolf and the other character for the treasure, which is probably more interesting than making your character, because you can make that nice, nice gold shining thing rather than your guy walking around, and then you'd have to animate him. So it's a much smarter way of doing it. Um, 
since the gameplay I didn't mind needed some allow for the possibility of four objects intersecting at once, I had to make some graphic sacrifices. I felt it was important for the wolf and the treasure to be distinctive objects, so the player and the decoy were demoted to rectangles. As a player who carries a great fondness for adventure, I felt the trade-off was reasonable. As an adventure, you're a little square. This is terrible. I'm not good at this. I keep tracing the treasure instead of looking at where the wolf is. Yeah. Use decoys! Yeah, so yeah, I know. So <laughs> that me. was for you, but yeah. I, I need to listen to that advice, too. Yeah. Not, I guess right away is not a bad tactic, because he's very far away. Mm -hmm. And he'll leave you alone for quite a while. That's not bad. Like, leaving one in the very, very far edge. Like, if you get that, and then leaving it there... Oh, See, no, you I, right I, I always think I'm going to get further, and I, I can't get more than two. Get two. I know, it's it's bad. You might be able to get three if you're right on the edge, and then just go for it. Uh, I drew all of the original sprites directly as pixel art with no concept sketches whatsoever, which goes a long way toward explaining the crude look of the wolf characters and the treasures. Actually, the treasures are really good. Like, that's a ring, um, and it's bigger on the lower part, which is closer to you, which makes sense. The gold bars are good, too. Uh, oh, no. See, it goes after me instead of going where I used to be, so. Terrible. If you can Terrible get stuck... This. I got once got stuck in the wall, and he couldn't get to me. But sometimes getting stuck in the wall, um, it pushes you out of the wall. Mm. It's kind of random-ish. Um, so that's not always a guarantee that you're going to get it. Oh, Whoa, nice! Wall. But you could direct yourself through the wall? Hmm. Mm. It looked like you kind of directed yourself while you were inside the wall. I wonder if that's possible. Ooh, two more. Two more. One more. Smart. Hmm, kind of. You can get Almost it. got me there. Get, get over one. You did it! Yay! No bonus. No, that's okay. Um, there were two versions of the wolf that showed up in early builds of the game. Both of them were flat and, undeci and decidedly unwolf-like. The final version was created by Scott Dayton, Neo Tokyo. Uh, besides looking much more gruff, the final wolf was de designed to eliminate a minor bug in the game. In early builds, it was possible to share the same room with the wolf because of the empty space to either side of his chin. So that that guy, you can't escape from. Like your your square is too big to to hide from him, unless you're in the wall, which I did hide from him once. Uh, good spot, good spot. He goes straight for it. Uh, the first version of the game had only one treasure, and three more were added to give the game a little more visual variety. The earliest versions were pretty flat and pathetic looking. I'm reasonably happy with how the final versions of the treasures came out. After I had a bit more practice with drawing the pixels. Oh, I'm stuck, stuck in the wall. wall. Oh, you can't move while you're in the wall. I'm good. Yeah. I should have stayed there. I was stuck in the wall and he couldn't get me. That's <laughs> true, but he, he would hang around a bit. Mm -hmm. 160. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Use decoys. <laughs> uh, John Calcano, Atari Boy, gets credit for making mm -hmm. this setting come alive through his artwork. The way he depicts the characters go beyond anything I could imagine them doing. Yet it feels so right. I can't thank him enough for what his imagination has brought to the world of Melbourne Tatty. Mm -hmm. um, I can read out the credits at the bottom and I'll mm -hmm. give it a couple more shots mm -hmm. maybe. At least one. So credits, game design and programming, Edward Griffiths. Additional programming and design, Fred Quimby. Artwork, John Calcano. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yum, yum, sure. yum. Sounds good. John Cart <laughs> Cartridge and manual services, Atari Age. Mm. Game testing, Darren Braun. Box production, Mark Oberhauser. Produced mm. by Scott Dayton from Neo Games and built with Atari, Atari Basic. Mm. Yep. That's pretty much it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It always seems to open up where you are just before you the yeah. wolf gets to you but i i think i think what it was saying is it's a set maze it's the same oh, every time so, that so if you memorize purpose. the maze you're gonna know what yeah. what cycle it goes through Good which for me well now you're now you're screwed no i mean memorizing 
Oh, I'm screwed. Mm -hmm. if, if, if he's in the middle and you're in one of the one of the spaces around him, you're screwed. You kind of want to get him to chase Actually, you around the outside. I should try and use the wall tactics in that case. If he's one away from me... Yeah, if you can get embedded can in a get wall. I can get stuck in a wall. Yeah, so like right like now. Right now. Okay. Or run away from him. <gasps> no, he pushed me. <laughs> I might as well just go into the other room. I think that it'll take a little bit of finessing to get that Oops. tactic. Oh, what? Did you you dropped a decoy. Get yeah, out of his went, way. But I went through a wall. Like, literally, <gasps> I... I you, you, the you ran into me. him. The wall pushed you me You ran in. into him. The wall pushed me in. <laughs> See, it did it again. <laughs> you can't be on a wall. You have to be in the middle of the square. I love his little, I love his animation, though. Uh, where he's like, nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom. Yeah, he's very cute. I got killed twice <laughs> by running into a wall, and the wall pushed me into him. Mm -hmm. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, it's down there. Oh, no. No, you're screwed now. You have to get two away. Oh. Uh, at least, if you two. can stay one there you go. ahead of him, you're fine. Yeah. Because he only moves every two. Yeah, but he will go straight for you if you're not careful. Oh, so. yeah. He always goes straight for you. Yeah. No decoys? You're trying not to use them. Yeah. Oh, God. Go. Go. There you go. Good. But I think it's planned out so that each square always gets an opening. Uh, um, eventually, yes. When you're in one, it always gets an opening every two. See? Mm -hmm. Which is a well, great that's just the maze. It's the, the maze, maze cycling through, yeah. So I thought it was random. Which uh, no, it's not. Which it's I thought not. it was like, oh, what a very clever random game. Um, cycle because mm. it checks if you can escape or not, but that's not how it works. <laughs> He's made it so you always escape, but it looks random enough anyway. Mm. A little bit bonus, a little bit of bonus, and now I die. So what happens in the second level? Like what is? Is it? It's faster? a different maze. It's a different maze. Oh. down please thank you drop a decoy cuz I'll be trying to get far away from him eventually oh let's just go get that now yeah, and then you'll get that guy oh very nice very nice let's do a decoy there do you get refreshed on the decoys oh go 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 oh that's good refresh sorry like every level do you get yes you get you get Three every level. Yeah. Level three! Keeps it going. Alt title says Cafe Man 2D. <laughs> Sir Square versus Wolfen. It's <laughs> <laughs> good alt title. I like Sir Square. Sir Square. There are a lot of games we played uh, on the system that Sir Square would be very appropriate for. <laughs> yep, he appears a lot, in a lot of, of RPGs. Sir Square is a <laughs> is like the Mario of the Atari world. He is. Uh oh. Go 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 go. I'm gonna drop one there. And oh no. Run, 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 run! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me out! See if you cut corners you can you can make it around pretty far. More than two. Gretum, Sir Square gets oh, around. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Gretums. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Gretums. Gretums is mere hours from us. Mm. Actually, a lot of hours. <laughs> oh, next level. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, this one's very different. Not just blocks. As the crow, as the crow flies, not too far. Uh, but if yeah. you take highways really far away. <laughs> There's no direct route, let's say. No. Oh, this is very different maze. It has openings, like... Yeah, it's very different. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Open, 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 open. Open, 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 open! Open, open, open! Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Oh, I thought I could get it. That's 
not going to be doing much good. I'm here anyway. It's coming towards me. Gretem says seven hours on the highway. I thought yep. it was actually further than that. No. Nope. Oh, well, it's not too bad. It's not the worst. That's a day's worth of driving. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst. Yeah, day. Do it in. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ah, get away! Run, run away! Run away! Uh, oh, 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 you went oh. through a wall there. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Uh, no, 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 no! Diagonals! I forgot about it. He does diagonals. I, I was trapped. 520. That was very good. I think we end on a high note there. I, I'm not going to beat 520. <laughs> that not that it's all stuff. about, you know, beating each other, but, you know. No, it's not. No. <laughs> it's about attaining the high score, whoever gets it. Thank you very much, RC7E. <laughs> uh, so let's get on to the third game. Actually, we're doing really good. Yeah! With getting good... Oh. What is that doing there? Yeah, getting decent scores. Yeah, getting for a few I'm very levels. happy with them. Mm. So the third game uh, started out actually as a board game. Uh, so this is a port of a board game. Okay. Which we don't play too many of. Okay. Um, usually it's ports of video games. Um, this is called uh, Isolate, and it's from the board game Isolation. Mm. Uh, this is by Thump Nugget. Let me change things around. I don't know if we need to look at... Well, we'll take a look at the board game, maybe. Yeah, the, we'll take a look at a, a video of somebody... Um, playing it or just so we can get an idea of what it looks like okay. so you know what it's simulating oh i see i see yeah because it's it would be hard to kind of figure out without looking at it so let me just bring it up for everyone here there we go okay yes yes cat yes 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 Everybody can see that. Mm. So there's two players, one on either side. And you move one and then punch one through. And the other person moves one and punches one through. And you're trying to, I think, we'll get into the rules, isolate that person by trapping them. Mm. Um, so, you know, gets to, I'm just explaining things, but I don't want any audio. No, 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 fair <laughs> things enough. Things get claimed. Yeah. Um, so there you go. He moves one and punches one through, I think. So you get mm. you get the idea of what the board game is like. So he just pushes that through to the mm. bottom. So very, very cool. Very, very sort of straightforward. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, you must start on those two black squares. Yeah, on the, yeah. And the s opposite sides. Mm. So it's cool game idea, great art. I'm in the manual. Oh, are you talking about mm -hmm. the last game? Or this game? Mm. Maybe this game? Last game. Says, yeah, this, this one was never released. So I don't think it was ever on cartridge. Oh, that's the old game. Okay. <laughs> uh, Isolate. By Thump Nugget from 2010. So this, I don't know if this has a single player mode. Mm. Or if it's two. So we, oh, are we playing each other? Or are we passing the uh, joystick? Oh, no, we have two joysticks. No, I well, I just went how the game was Worked, yeah. But, yeah. Um, so this was just posted March 3rd, 2010. First post, last post, it's done. Some really? People, some people just do that. It's like, I made this game here. You know what? Some <laughs> people are just introverted in the forum sense. Like, they don't want to chat with people and. They don't want to no, no. They don't want fixes. Like, this is the yeah. game I wanted to make. Yeah. I feel that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you, Arena Foot, for linking everyone. Yes. You can download this in the Atari Age forums from the link that Arena Foot just posted. It's a 16K F6 game. <clears throat> it says, Isolation is a two-player abstract strategy board game. It is played on a 7x7 seven seven board, maybe different here. This looks like 6x7, um, which is initially filled with squares, except at the starting positions of the pieces. Both players have one piece. It is in the middle position of the row closest to his or her side of the board, mm. the starting position. A move consists of two subsequent actions, moving one's piece to a neighboring, horizontal, vertical, or diagonally, mm -hmm. uh, to a position that contains a square but not the opponent's piece. And then the second part is removing any square with no piece in it, similar to the arrow effect in Game of Amazons. 
Never played that game. Yeah. So, anyway, the player who cannot make any more moves loses the game. And I was doing some reading on this, and people said it's a very good game for kids, mm. but it doesn't get too advanced. Well, no, it seems quite simple, like in the in the concept. Oh, uh, the Matchy ROM was removed from his Atari Age blog. Yes, it was. Mm. So you'll have to hunt around for Matchy. the Matchy game. Mm. It's in like ROM packs. I believe that's where I found mm. it. Sometimes I go digging through there and see if I, what I can find some mm. hidden treasures. Mm. Um, so let, I think there's some variations. Yes. Standard game. Let's go to game two. So you can start playing the computer. <laughs> so select game. Ooh, really nice. Game two. No. Okay. Maybe it's on me. There we go. Yeah. I'm playing game two. Yeah. Oh, they don't start you in the spots that yeah. I thought. Oh, opposite, I guess, but they're not in the middle because there's only six pieces. So you moved it, and now you remove a piece. Oh, there's no sound. Okay. Oh, you play. Oh, what? Yeah, it's okay. It said, mm, no, I want you to play a computer. There's a computer, right? Which so one? So let's try game one, maybe, as a computer. Try that. Okay. Uh, try game three. Hmm. Try and press a button. Uh, try four. Maybe this D didn't implement it, but it says that game two. Are they different? Because these games don't look all that different. No, they don't. It says game two, game four, game six, and game eight are against the computer. Oh, well, we'll be playing each other then. Well, they don't disappear. It shows you who punched it through. Hmm, interesting. I would have thought making it disappear would be more visually interesting. Right, so like it's gone and you're actually isolated. But I mean, this works as well. Um... Yeah, see, that's what I found too, Arena Foot. Like game two says standard game player versus computer, but you actually moved the other player on all the variations that said computer was playing. Mm. Yeah, there's no, I was moving the computer, so maybe that's just the version you have. Yeah. It doesn't have the AI included. There's only one posted. It's only one version he ever posted. Um, mm, okay. Um, hey, so do you like fast-paced games that test your reflexes and leave you with a spent with a sore hand and potentially suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome? Well, re friend, bet ready to be disappointed because Isolate for the Atari 2600 is based off a Milton Bradley game that I played with my brother as a kid called Isolation. The rules of the game are very simple. Each player has one pawn on a 6x8 grid. Yes. Uh, each turn, a player will move his or her pawn in a direction, blah, 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 punch out the remaining square. Yep, yep, yep. This sounded like a simple enough concept to tr try my first 2600 game. I first purchased the original game from eBay. Select a game. There are a total of eight game variations. Game one, standard game, player versus player. St game two, standard game, player versus computer. It's a lie. That's a lie. It's not a computer game. <laughs> that's okay. We can play player versus player. And then it keeps going. Uh, game five, pawns can move any number of spaces. Oh. Can you try that? Within your realm. That should be. This is one player. This is game one. So. Oh, okay. So let's go to test out five. Six. Did that just go from. Yep. There's no five. Let's try it again. Three. Three. Four. four okay. Five. Okay, there we go. So you should be able to move any number of spaces, like in a row. No. No. Seems like the same game every level. So I don't think he actually version. finished it. Maybe not. Yeah. I, I think he planned it, but didn't finish it because he. This is a work in progress. It's not a finished game. So I uh. think that's what he was planning on doing. That's fine. That's fine. Basic game is fine. Uh, the game variation. Um, the game is 16k, but I because all I had for testing on real systems was 16k EEPROMs. Currently, two 4K banks are being used, although it would fit on one 4K right now. As of yet, the game does not have sound. 
Uh, here it comes. I'm using only one joystick uh, for both players. Also, I've not put in the computer AI yet, and that's a real big hurdle I've left. So we never put in the AI. And it doesn't look like he finished all the variations either, so it's just the basic game, mm -hmm. which is fine. I put this game aside to finish up school, but with school ending March 29th, I now get to finish this game starting in earnest in April, which he never did. He never finished it. Till then, I'm hoping to solicit some ideas how to about going doing doing the AI. First, picking the best square to remove, and then where where to move the pawn. I have some basic ideas, but nothing I think will make the computer tough to beat. Remember, no laughing now. Um, so, this is his only game he ever made, and I think he only mm. did one post after posting the game. So I don't think he got a lot of encouragement or information or maybe just never got around back back around to it but this is this is a lot of potential especially with an ai mm -hmm. it's got a bit of a screen flip there too that he needs to fix get on it come back come back when's the last time thump nugget uh logged in oh um march 29th 2010 what oh he's talking about how long oh i see so that's 10 years ago he made the game i'm gonna see if i can see when thump nugget last logged in See if he's still around. Oh. Flood protection. Uh, oh, February 18th. He may actually say us playing it eventually. <laughs> so he logged in not too long ago. Nice. Um, so there is chance that he may come back to it. Hopefully he will. Because I think this has huge promise. I, I would not even come close to knowing how to program the AI for this. Um, but using two joysticks, I don't think that would be too much of a stretch to program it. You just flip it every time and have a variable of a, a constant, constant. Um, oh, uh, interesting. People know how to do it. So I've, I've, I've uh, basically. You beat yourself. I beat myself. And you lost. But nothing happens. It just yeah, goes player two and then it stops. So, it doesn't so know. So obviously it doesn't have a conclusion either. Because yeah. it should be like. There are Check no more or moves. whatever, you know. Atari. It, yeah, Atari. <laughs> oh, um, not you. Um, oh. It should know that there are no diagonal mm. left, right, up, down moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. His last post is July 1st, 2019. Lo last logged in February 18th. Yes. Mm. Okay, so let's play against each other with a lot of joystick passing. <laughs> or we could have it in the middle on the cat. Cat, you want the... Oh, I can use the joystick, uh, the keyboard. Can I'll you? I'll use the keyboard. Will it mess up? No. No, see. Okay. Okay, uh, which color do you want to be? Uh, I don't care. You, you want to be player one? Sure. Mm -hmm. So you can only move one? Yes. Yeah. And then I will take that away. Mm -hmm. Oh, it took it away. Yeah. And didn't turn it red or blue. So there is a little bit of variation in the... Um, A little bit of variation in the games, but not a ton. Hey, that's me. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, don't, don't I get to choose which square to remove? No, you move, then you choose. So I just moved. <laughs> I know. I you. Know. I know. But what if I want to take another one away from you? Oh, there's diagonals too. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. <laughs> there's a lot of places to move. Can't take it from underneath my feet. No. Can't you can't oh. move there. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do next. I'm gonna go there. Let's see. Hmm. 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 Sure, I'll go there. Hmm. Yes, 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 hmm. yes, yes, yes. So when I put up the games now, I've started tagging the developers' names. Mm. So they get alert. It's like somebody mentioned you in a post. So hopefully some of these people that haven't 
been around for a while or um, they can see that we're playing their game mm -hmm. and um, maybe come back to it. Yeah, I definitely like it better when it blanks it out rather than the blue and red. <laughs> You're banished to the island. Yeah, I know. You'll be soon. I will be very soon. Oh, wait, where am I going? Shrinking. <laughs> I know. I think you've Shrinking. won already. Shrinking. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have won. Nuts. Oh, or most likely have won. Mm -hmm. Unless I screw up really bad. No, it's probably not going to happen. Oops. <laughs> Just attack I know her. where you're going, so... <laughs> I, I don't really care yeah. where I go. Yep. You Gosh. have three moves left. Yeah, I know. That's bad. Or less. Oh. I know. It's tempting to just go after the other person. I'm like, it's like, I don't want to move. I'll stay where I am. But it actually forces you to move. It does. Yeah, I'll I still have... You have lots of options there. ...enough room left. Like, it doesn't really matter. You can get to any of these from any of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's good in this game. I mean, it yeah. it would be good to have a little bit of sound. Doesn't need much. Just yep. beep, beep, boop, whatever. Or maybe mm -hmm. it can be dramatic. It could be mm -hmm. like destroying a piece. Mm -hmm. um, where do we want to go? Probably here. There's lots of moves from there. You can uh, circle around, which is nice. Yeah, I think that is good. Provides a little bit shorter of a distance to go. Oh, the screwed. text at the bottom, I love the font. That is a gorgeous font. What do you yeah, think? I do actually. I, I enjoy the the font. Yeah. I love the. Uh, I forget what you call those A's. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, I'm screwed at this point. Oh, like uppercase, lowercase A's. Like it, uh, it's a big it's A. It's the A. It's the like or the roundness Russian of it. A. Like I don't know what you call that, but yeah. So I'm screwed, oh. but there's no end. There's yeah. no end. It doesn't to sense it. an yeah. end. Yeah. yeah. But it's still good. It's very because good. it's probably using the logic of oh you, no you can't even. Oh, no, I can't move. I can't, can't do anything. Move. Yeah, I can't do anything. No, so. it does know that it's the end. Does it? I think it's flashing differently. No. 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 Because. Oh, maybe it is. It's different colors. Yeah, you're right. It is. Yeah. It, it is. It should say game it over. It flashes. Yeah, it should. It should say game over. Or player one loses. Yeah. Um, because normally you can move. You can pick any square. It doesn't even sense like no you can't. Yeah, that's there, true. Right? You can you can scroll around and you can right now. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. You're yeah. right. It is it is a game over screen. It just needs to say game over. Yeah. yeah. And it does this all without flicker. Like it's really, really good because there's mm. only two players and the rest is done with play field. Yep. And the bottom is done with the width of two or uh, the two players mm -hmm. triplicated each. Mm -hmm. So six of them, six eights, forty eight, forty eight wide on the bottom. And is able to get all the messages in there because there's enough room. Three lines. Very, very good. Very good, yeah. I mean, I don't think there... And this is beautiful. Look at the... Yeah, I like the that. The fading in and out. Yep. And Gorgeous. The, and the just the, the way they've created the numbers. Like even the, the game select the comes in and out. Yeah, that's very nice. When was this made? 2010? 2010. Nice. Yeah, yeah because normally you can... Um, mm. I think the flashing looks the same. Yeah, the flashing's the same. It just you can't move. It goes to white and all the different mm. colors. Very good flashing. Everything's great. Mm. There's nothing wrong with this game. <laughs> you just need to implement the AI. There's a bit of a screen flip mm. um, when you like watch the 262. 
Yeah, 254. Yeah, it's got some line count issues. 262 again. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and just some sound. AI something. and sound. AI click, is... click on this, or, or tick, something tick, denoting tick, the flip tick. over from player one to player two would Doody. be good. Yeah. Some, yeah, that would be yeah, good. Because too. then it's like that trigger. Okay, it's not it's necessary, but it'd be good. No, but I like that with games where yeah. you're taking turns, where there's oh, some audible it. switch from that, one player to the other. That is true because we were getting a little confused at moving versus taking a tile yes. away. Yes. Yeah. 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 So sometimes an audible change is, is good for that too. Yeah. I think. But yeah. Very um, cool. Yeah, but yeah. the AI is huge. It's yeah. that's that would be difficult to implement because you have to kind of. Well, not too too bad. I guess mm. there'd be different strategies of taking away around the person. But even then, mm. I'm sure some people in the forums could help them out. Mm -hmm. Evening, Kevin. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> okay, good game. Isolate. Uh, I don't think we need to play another one. I, we figured it out. Yeah. 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 Okay. And and, and the, the levels aren't that aren't different. No, <laughs> so it's not going to be a different help. game. It's just going to be a different outcome. <laughs> Um, so we'll move on to our fourth and final game mm -hmm. of the night, which is, as soon as it gets going, uh, it is 21 Blue. Uh, have you played much Blackjack? Yes, but I haven't played it in a while. Okay. So it's like, so we'll both be I, at, some, it at some point I did have some strategy, but I, it's been a while yeah. since I played it. So we'll have to boost our strategy. Yeah, up. Yeah, I have, I have a vague recollection, <laughs> um, but it's so been a while. Blackjack game is called 21 Blues from 2011 by Mike Sarna, a.k.a. Revenge. Mm -hmm. um, first posted December 29th, 2010. This build is from May 19th, 2011. It's a 32k f4 game you'll see why it's 32k in a second um other games he's made uh 21 blue atari vox speak and spell mm. uh christmas adventure little miss it 2k slash miss it and naughty list available in the atari age forums this build mm. um so let's start it up not that that's isolate still <laughs> Maybe i should get to the actual game. yes now, I was not going to play this game on the show until I found out there was an option that we <laughs> could not, that we could avoid showing things. I assume this is a blue game <laughs> when I it see is. 21 blue. That's why. Uh, That's why it's called blue. But it doesn't have to be. It has, you said it has an option to It has an option, of, okay. a boss mode. All right. So we don't Fair have enough. to get kicked <laughs> off YouTube or something. Yeah. For is it that showing. naughty? It's naughty enough. And, <laughs> okay. It's, not, it's it's eight bit naughty. Funny. Eight bit naughty. <laughs> but I mean, you can see the yeah. the uh, drawing there. It's, yeah. It's kind of two tone, well, three or four tone there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, it kind of looks better disabled. Disabled the phosphor effect. The phosphor because it gets more shading. Yeah, you do get more shading. That's. Funny. But I guess it's just kind of yellowed a mm. bit. With, eh, we'll leave it on. Mm. Um. Welcome to Casino 21 Blue, the newest casino on the Strip. Uncompromising luxury, regal accommodations, unparalleled service, countless games of chance. Casino 21 Blue has none of those things. In fact, we can only afford three <laughs> dealers and a single blackjack game table. Uh, excellent. We urge you to stop by. The payouts can't be beat. And we're eager to, eager to earn your business. So eager that our employees are willing to give you the shirts off their back. Uh, yes. Literally. Literally. <laughs> yeah. So when they Classy. lose their shirts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, standard blackjack rules apply, but the payouts have been adjusted to make up for the odds of being in favor of the house. Hmm. The easy and medium modes can be beat with regular blackjack strategy. Uh, you'll need to be extremely lucky to beat the hard mode if you don't know how to count cards. Hmm. If the graphics are a bit jumpy on your computer, in Stella, hit Alt P to turn on the phosphor effect, which you already have on. Mm. Um, so we do have a uh, manual that goes along with this. Um, he was Revenge was actually going to put this out on cartridge, mm. but it never came to be. It didn't come together, and it actually got pirated and put on a pirate cartridge. Really? And he said, uh, I don't think I'd be quite so mad if it didn't look like utter crap. Oh. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I got yeah. pirated. But it looks terrible, so I'm actually oh, mad about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks more like lilac to me. Yeah. Oh. oh it's a uh, it's Lilac of, is more purple. It doesn't look purple from here, though. Looks yellowish. No. 
Yeah. Cut it because it's a mix between. I don't know what it's a mix between. It's a mix between the light and the dark, I think. Maybe. Or something. Mm. Um, and even a, a box was made for the game by Mark Oberhauser, mm. who did the box for the other game that we played. Um, the one with the Melbourne Taddy. He put together the box. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't do the artwork, but he made the box. Um, and he said, I just stumbled over box art work I, I'd done several years ago. It's for the nice card game 21 Blue by Revenge. I'm not sure if the game ever got published, but here's a link for the game. So here we go. So let's take a look at the box artwork before we jump into the game. Let me just set that up. Might as well show off that since it didn't come out. Might as well show off the hard work, right? There we go. Going to full screen mode. Okay. So here's the first. Oh, nice! I like yeah. the pack, like the the background with the the cards. The cards. Yeah, very nice. And on the back, pretty much the same thing I wrote out, uh, read out. Uh, complete blackback jack simulation, including doubling down, splitting, buying insurance, and surrendering. Play with one of the three lovely dealers on one of six difficulty levels. Optional Atari Vox support, providing the dealer with eight saucy phrases. So we won't get those, unfortunately. Today. <laughs> Don't have the Atari Vox up. Eighteen saucy phrases. Hide away the ladies with a flip of the color black and white switch, which is out. That's there what we'll be doing. Uh, includes a bonus game, Black Juco, for oh. use with the joystick controller. Oh. So it's actually a fun game. So it's, yeah. it's not, not blackjack at all, but it mm. ties into it. Okay. So we'll be playing that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's the front again, not on an angle. <laughs> Very nice. This, that's where I stole the um, the artwork for the cartridge. Is off that. Oh, off that. Yeah, nice. Oh, there it is. I can read it now. And there's the normal dealer. And there are the, uh, the regulars. The, the, well, the the yeah the yeah. the front ones. The the yeah. start. Funny. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, so let's get into the game. I'll have to get out of full screen. Close that down. Get back to the game. Boom. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I would say that's probably... Uh... No, that's fine. She's wearing a shirt there. <laughs> she hasn't come off yet. Medium? Susie? Some music. A little bit of that's music. That's funny. Uh, so we've got six dealers. Uh, Petra Easy from Detroit. <laughs> uh, Susie Medium from Niagara Falls. Really good font. Mm -hmm. Really good font. Uh, Stella <laughs> Medium from Lake Tahoe. <laughs> Petra, hard from Atlantic City. Susie, hard from Reno. Stella, hard from Lit Vegas. Mm. And then the bonus game. The bonus game. So probably easy sure. Easier first medium, of all. Which is regular blackjack. Well, actually, medium. Because sure. they said medium is... Niagara more. Falls, Canada. Hey. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Niagara Falls, the city in Canada. Yes. The falls themselves are in the U.S. and Canada. Yes, but, but the city of Niagara Falls. Yeah, is in and Canada. the views are from Canada, if I'm not yes, mistaken. Yes. Like, the views from the U.S. are like, I, yeah, not great. That's my yeah. I have that's been why, there, but it's been a while. That's so. why the city is on yeah. the Canadian side. If, yeah. if there's really nice views, it'd yeah. be more built up on the U.S. side. I, I guess. So. No yeah. So that's how you uh, you start. That, that's how you start, <laughs> and that's how you deal cards, right? Okay. That's how you normally deal cards. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, and <laughs> we don't mode. need to see that. <laughs> You can experience that on your own. Oh, that's right. Um, RC Nip seventy. We have Niagara Falls too. It's pure trash, though. It's pure trash. Actually, to be honest, the Niagara Falls on the Canadian side is pretty awful it's too. Vegasy. Very but Vegasy. Bad yeah. Vegas, as if there's good Vegas. But. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So I've got the manual here. Um, it's probably pretty self-explanatory. Mm. It's so you pick your bet. Not. Oh, you wanted that bet? Okay. So left, right is hit me all the different options. So what do you have? Mm. Start reading it out. Mm, so you've got I'm at 10, 13. 12. I'm at 20. So Ooh. what is, what are my options? Left, right. Stand. Stand. Doing pretty good. 15, 25. Yeah. Woo! 
Should have bet bigger. <laughs> okay. RC70, I'm like 50 minutes away from Niagara Falls, U.S. side. Oh. oh okay. Congratulations. Must, are you in New York State? Must be, right? New York, Niagara Falls is New York State, right? Is it? I don't know. Let's just go with a minimum. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to remember. Not that far. When I Where I grew up was not far from... Buffalo, from, New York. Buffalo, yeah. New York. Oh, okay. Higher <laughs> bets. Sorry, I'm, I'm know, very cheap. I'm very cheap. Risk averse. <laughs> Risk just averse. Like me. I just don't have much 17? money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, he wins. Oh, wow, well, yeah. 17. Yeah. You've got lots of money. 505. How much? Oh, I do have lots of money. Yeah, this is All right, let's really low. 80. What? That's maximum. Oh, 40 or 80? Well, it's fine. Oh, it counts down. Very nice. 16. Oh. No, no. Yeah, 16. <sighs> oh, I would hit. Well, mm, 17. James is very risk averse. Yes. Uh, yeah, no. I don't know. Where's, there it is, Stan. I'm going to stand on that. Oh, no. No. Oh, boo. All your monies. Preple font? Oh, it's a name for it. Oh, neat. Oh, uh, 16 again. Seriously? Okay, yeah. Uh, use, your, <laughs> use your joystick. That's good. Yay. Did you bet big? Yeah. Oh, good. 5.45. Nice. Um, la la la. We already know that. New to blackjack. Blackjack, also known as Twenty One, is the most widely played casino banking game. Banking game. Banking. Why would they call it a banking game? In the world, yeah. betting game. If you're new to blackjack, betting. don't worry. It's a game that can be enjoyed by the novice and expert alike. Basic strategy is easy to learn, and small adjustments can always be made to whatever your current strategy is. Sixteen. You've been losing on those sixteens. No, I haven't. Oh, seventeens. You've been losing on. Nice. Would automatically chose Stan? Yes, because you 21. you would be an idiot if you hit. <laughs> <laughs> hit me again. Oh, you're oh you're still down. Me? No, I'm seven oh five. Oh, what did you start with? Five hundred. Five hundred. Oh, you're way up. Uh, Quit. Walk out. Let's go for dinner. You can tell. Well, you can tell we're real gamblers around here. <laughs> double down on ten or eleven. Can you? Yeah. That's a double down. Oh, it does. I didn't. Even, I didn't know that option was there. I thought it was. It was more basic than that. Well, that's good to know. All right. Uh, in Probably 21, bad both, run. both the dealer and player begin with 500 cash. Oh, you're actually playing it against the house, and the house has a like limited money. Oh, stat. 18? 18? Don't hit on 18. He's a 9. Oh. Uh, oh, Yeah, I no. knew it. I knew it. See. Mm. Oh, no. It's okay. I only lost $80. See, this is how, how you get something. Uh, oh, wow. Well, that's pretty high. Ten is the highest. Yeah, I had a good run. <laughs> you had a good run. <laughs> I'm gonna uh oh, sixteen. That's why I said walk out. I uh, when the dealer has no more money left, she'll sell you an article of clothing for five hundred. Ah, uh, that's how it works. That's funny. <gasps> Very nice. The game is won when the dealer has no more clothing left to sell, but to get there, you'll need to win one the game one hand at a time. You win a hand of blackjack by having a card total that's higher than the dealer's total, but does not exceed 21. If the player's hand is, does exceed 21, the player busts, and the dealer automatically wins. You can double down on that. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, double down? Yeah, if you win 500 of the dealer's money, the clothes start to come off. Oh, okay. Right. Off this guy, too? Is this single deck? <laughs> probably, but I'm not a card counter, so it doesn't really help me. <laughs> probably single deck. <laughs> I don't know. Based on the amount of memory the Atari well, has. Actually, it's no, a big game. No, when Isn't they it? play blackjack, they play more than one deck, don't they? It's a 2K game. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a blackjack person. When, when you play in the casino, it's multiple decks, isn't it? Or is it one deck at a time? I think F4. Someone out there knows, I know for sure. F4 is the basic. So it only has 128 bytes. So I don't think it has I enough don't... room to store two decks. I don't know. How many cards? There's uh, 52 cards in a deck. How would it be able to... There's no way. I guess it could store them. Jeez. No, there's not enough room for that. If you double down, Yay. it doubles your bet and gives you only one card. Oh. Like one card only. Like, and you're, then you're it's done. not splitting. I, although I haven't been in the position to split. Oh. So. And what is splitting? It's when you have two cards of the same value and you can, you can split them into two hands. And you and bet double as you, much? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it would be 160 you would bet. Oh, so we got another 500. Mm. So if we flipped out of boss mode, there'd be a naked woman there right now. 
She would have taken her shirt off, sold her shirt for five hundred dollars. But you don't have enough. No, I, I, I uh, didn't I? Because you've got only five sixty-five. Yeah, it reset. Because I won. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It reset. Oh, oh! You buy the shirt off of them. Yeah. Oh, so you have to spend five hundred dollars. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I don't think that's a good deal. A lot are six deck <laughs> shoes, but you can find single or double deck sometimes. Interesting, yeah. Uh, yeah, two hands at once when you split. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was. I, I again, I don't play blackjack. I only actually ever played it online. I think. In the, in the case <laughs> but of a tie, to know. Yeah. all the players' initial wager is returned. I don't know if that's the way it works. We haven't had a tie. Um, I think the house wins, doesn't it, in a tie? Or no? I always thought the house wins in a tie, yeah. But he did say that it was altered so that the house doesn't... Win as much. Doesn't win as much, and I think that might Again, be the... yeah. So, double... <laughs> $500 for Palm Pilot quality porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yeah. I mean, this is better. Th well, Palm Pilot. Color. House wins in a tie. Yeah, I think in this game yes. though, to encourage the clothing coming off, they want to give you. They a want little to give bit you of an advantage. advantage. Yeah. yeah. Double says Funny. doubles your initial bet in exchange for hitting one more time. This can only be done as the player's first decision, after getting the dealt first two cards of the hand. So you can do that at any time. The double, double down. Mm -hmm. Doubles. Double doubles your initial bet in exchange for hitting only one more time. Oh. This can only be done on the, as a first decision. And there's an option called give. Oh, mm. The player gives up in exchange for half of his bet back. So if you have mm. a terrible hand that you know you're going to lose, you go, I surrender. Hmm. I Is that part of regular rules? I've never heard of that rule. Yeah. Interesting. This Oh, it says this is also known as surrender in other casinos. So oh. it is. Huh. Again, I'm learning lots of new things about blackjack. Yep. Next time we're in Vegas, we'll have to give it a try. Uh, you can. <laughs> Uh, split. The option is available when the player's two dealt cards are the same. This instructs the dealer to split the two cards into two separate hands, hands and play yes. them separately. Yeah. Splits can, I'm aware of. Double downs I very rarely would do when I played, so... You can split up to three times. Yes, if you keep getting... Yeah. If you keep getting the same card? So you can split once, and then if the next card laid is also two of the same, then you can split that hand too, mm. I believe. Same game as when you play Blackjack Theta 8. Did we play Blackjack Theta 8? I don't think we did. Mm. I think it's still on my list to play. Maybe we did. Maybe I did end, end up playing that. You want to play some Blackjack? <gasps> Me? No, I'll just watch you. When it gets to the other game, I'll, I'll play it. So you have 23 or... 15. 15? 20 now? Yes. <sighs> Not hit. No. <laughs> Win, win. Yes. Yay. All right. So when you deplete all their money, or when you get five hundred dollars, is that when? When you deplete all their money, okay. and then suddenly they sell for five hundred. You know? Okay. Mm. Um, insurance. Insurance is a side bet that's offered when the dealer has an ace showing after the initial deal. Yes. If the player chooses yes response, half the hand's wager is taken from the player, and the dealer checks their hidden card. What just happened? It shut. They shuffled. Oh. Cool. Does that mean it. they went through a deck then? Uh, yeah. Or enough of a deck? Yeah. One uh, deck. If the hidden card is a ten, the player wins. The side bet would have play pay out two to one. The hand is over. If it isn't a ten, the dealer dealer will inform the player the side bet is lost, and the hand continues normally. If you have a blackjack in your hand while the dealer has an ace showing, you will be offered even money instead of insurance. Even money is the same concept as insurance, except that it pays out three to two. Oh my god, there's so many things. Oh, way over. Eh. The basic strategy is hit until your hand is 17 or more. This is a poor way to play. <laughs> as you're ignoring information, you can use the maximizing your odds of winning a hand better strategy is to look at the dealer's showing card and evaluate your hand against hers mm -hmm. or his uh the following rules well, aren't perfect but they're better than the up to 17 strategy i i yeah and and oh, like yeah. well you say stand but i'm at 19 and they have a jack so if right. they have a king queen ace. or jack or an ace i'm screwed so well i, mean, I think if they have an ace they just go well, blackjack you have? but you're not gonna hit um, are you well, that's the thing. Is do you want to hit? Is your chance very high? He'll, no. He had. There's a high chance that he'll beat me, but very then high. they busted. So. Yep. 
But there's yeah. a higher chance you won't. Oh, I see. I just posted the A, B difficulty switch oh. selects between the four and two deck game. Oh, we haven't got there yet. Um, how does it fit all this in memory? So if you think, what is 52 in hexadecimal? 64, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So you need six bits for every card. I just split. You weren't, yeah. Oh, good job. Split results. I got 20 on both. First hand. Ooh. Win! First hand you win. Second hand. Wind. Wow, this is really it's complicated in depth. Wow. Win! Oh, nice. <laughs> Getting the cash. Excellent. Nice. Well. $75 they have left. Oh, four and a three. Very low. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's a good good chance I would have. So you're staying on eighty for your bet. You're just going. Yeah, yeah. why not? Why not? Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna split that too. Yep. Nice. Oh my goodness, so good. Mm. We'll see. Oh, they stuck with the 17. I guess they win one. Yeah, why would, Why did I do that? That was silly. Well, no, I didn't know they had 17, no, I guess. Didn't. Yeah. Oh, they're going to run out of money if you win, maybe. I did win. Both hands. Oh, it was a push. What's no, a push? It, one was a push, one was a win. <gasps> they have yep, $35 dollars down. left. Going to buy their sock from them. Their sock. <laughs> Ooh, oh. 19. Oh, wow. yeah, I'll stand on that. Go over, go over, go over. Yeah. Cleaning the house out. Yep. Gone. Negative 85. I'm broke. I'm broke. Woo. Game over. Oh, you, you won the game. Nice. Yeah. No suit showing. Uh -huh. Aha. Oh, Only that's... three different, 13 different cards, which would be four bits a card. Very, that's very, very true. Yeah. Yep. You got it. Okay. Yeah. So that's how it fits in. Yeah. You don't need, you don't Did... need suits at all. Yeah. Cause they don't come into play. Yeah. Ever. That's yeah. Very smart. Yeah. Somebody was very clever. <laughs> and you're clever for figuring it out. Yeah. Thumbkissed. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So, you beat it. <laughs> you want to go? No, 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 no. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. So, let's play the other game then. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, the other game is... Black Juco. He uses 13 bytes. A four deck has... Uh, 208 cards. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. So how does this work? Do we know? Yes. You have to... It's like um, Sudoku, except with cards. Okay. Except it's much simpler than that. Um, well, it's about the same. 21, 21, 21. I don't think it goes that way, though. You have to add the, all the cards up to 21. So you pick a number? Yep, you have to fill that in with a card. So that, I mean, this is just math at this point. But So right now the bot it's top row two. is... How do you uh, do it, though? Uh, use the button and the joystick. Hold down the button. Yeah. No? And then you uh, fill in the other one. I see. So that's... 10, 16, no, say uh, I need five. six. Or sorry, five, yeah. What? What is up, it doing? Up, down, left, right. No, I oh. wasn't there. That's weird. You did. You did move there. There you go. You accidentally moved over. That's uh, level one. Okay. And then you, wanna, you go you to level play two. This one? You, I sure. played the last one. We'll go one. back and forth. That doesn't sound too hard, actually. <laughs> this uh, this sounds more, more. There's more holes now. Yeah, but and be more as long as you have single holes, then it's very easy to figure that's, out. That's so when until it gets, it gets really hard. More difficult. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, gets, it so, starts off pretty easy. Five, nine, fourteen. You're so basically gonna seven. watch us count oh. and <laughs> lots of counting, counting and adding. <laughs> what is happening here? Yeah. You, know, you push and hold, oh, and then you and, and, down, and then you go up and down. Right. Yeah. Because left and right moves. 
Why are you putting two there? I'm not. I'm just... <laughs> Hi, kitty. You want to play some Black Juco? Oh, what did what did I need? A s Sorry, five, nine, fourteen, a seven. And this is five. I need a six. Yeah, this is not the most enthralling. Count, add, and subtract. Exactly. That's <laughs> that's pretty much what this game 10, is. Ten, thirteen. I need an eight. <laughs> Da, da, da. Count Woo. and subtract. Mostly adding. I guess a little bit subtract. Mm. Um, so now we just go for the single. So that's 16. I need a 5. No! No! <laughs> who thought? Who knew it would be so dramatic? <laughs> the control scheme in this is confusing. Oops. Hi. Hi. Um... There's nine, 14, I need a seven. Right? Eight, two, seven, four, yep. yep. And this one, eight, four, 12, 19, three, two, two I mean. Um, six, five, 11, 13, eight, eight. It's taking longer. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to work there for a second. <laughs> oh, that's eight, four, easy. Twelve, need a nine. Um, and then 16, over there. 18, so and four nine. in the bottom corner. Seven, four, eleven. And eight, seventeen, eight. five above it. And a five there? Five above it, yeah. Or not. Or did I add something up wrong? Did I do it wrong? 16, 18. Oh, that's 22. Sorry. 16, 18. That should be a three in the bottom corner. Oh. Nope. Should be a four. Oop. Uh oh. Somebody did something wrong. Now it's cascading. 16, 18. That's a three in the bottom. It's 21. Three in the bottom corner, and yep. then that that's going to affect whatever empty one you had in that row. Uh, Was it the this seven? One. It's this one. So nine, and then it's going to affect the one above it. Somebody counted wrong yeah, somewhere. Me. <laughs> oh no! Fast and loose with my count. Yep. Fast and loose. Not good. No. It's taking longer each turn. Hmm. Okay, let's do it properly this time. Okay. I'm going to double check you. Seven, five, no. I keep thinking 20, 22 for some reason. Four, and, oh. seven, 15. Yeah. Ooh, now there's some logic going. Oh, no, there's still one. There's no logic. It's, <laughs> there it's, just, will be it's just adding. It's just adding. And as long as you eventually. add it correctly. Um, now there is. Mm -hmm. Now there is. Now you have to figure it out. <clears throat> because there's four squares. And there's no three. Unless I did do it diagonally. Did it also add up to 21 diagonally? Can't tell Usually now. they do, but... Uh... Well, let's try that theory out. So that's 15. So that's a 6. Stop it! It lets you move after you've selected it. Which is not good. 6, 4, that's 10, 12, 8, 15, 6. That one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't double them. This is wrong already. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not diagonal then. So, no diagonals. There are tens. Oh. Yeah. Is there anything else? Nope, just tens. I don't think you use tens though. I haven't needed to use a ten yet. Uh, okay. So let's figure out the. Oh, there's so many possibilities. Not really. So four and three are seven. And what's left is. You just 14. need to know what's. Yeah, you just need to know what. So that's 12, and then it's um, 
16. On the top? The, the, the two rows are 12 and 16. 12 and 16? Mm-hmm. Um, hmm, okay. So 12 could be 6 and 6. Can't be 6 and 6 because there's already a 6. And it can't be doubled. So then the next one would be... Um, 5 and 7, which it can't be 5. Uh, 4 and... 8. And 8. It so it could half. be an 8 and then a 4. 8 so up there. 4 yeah. up there. Can't have the 4. You can't have doubles, oh, right? That's right. 4. And then 8. Or three and nine. Yeah, but leave it and then figure out what that those other two would be and see if it works. Yeah. Um, so eight, four, twelve, fifteen, it'd be a six, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, nine, eleven, it'd be a ten. First, first ten. Yay! Yeah. Is this enthralling? Are you fi having fun yet? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, now there's some tens. Well, there's the two oh, rows good. you can, can do... easily do. Good. And then the rest, again, it's the same approach, which is just actually. Yeah. Maybe able yeah. to do it. No, then there's another one at the top, then there's another one there. We can do this one. Yeah. Yay! Um, 9, 11, 18, so that's a 3. No, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is 16, so that's a 5. And do that's the one 15. in the corner. That's 19. That's two. And that's nine. Slow scrolling. Uh, 15, 17, five, four. Four. Again, my brain's on 22 <laughs> for some reason. Uh, 16, so five. Five. Six. Mm -hmm. Hooray! Uh, it's like watching someone do Sudoku for hours. <laughs> yeah, there is no Sudoku on this on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred no, yet. I don't think. Pretty much very similar to it. So. Could you do it? Yeah. Could you? Sudoku. Is it would require quite a large grid. Nine. Yeah. Nine by nine? No. Three, three, three. No, it's three, not three, threes, three, is three, three, it? Three, three, three. Yep. It's it nine groups of nine mm, okay. because it has to go one through that's nine. Well. Yeah, I thought it, I thought they were bigger, smaller grids, but I get that sounds right. You, you might be able to do it. Yeah, do it just like I this. I mean, vertically is not the problem. <laughs> vertically is not the problem. Yeah. It's horizontally whether you can fit nine mm. numbers all the way across with or without the grid. Yeah, because um, mm. you could get away with not having. This doesn't have a grid. Um, no, you don't need a grid, but... No, don't need a grid. It's, it's pretty big, though. It would be pretty big. That's nine. It would be. I don't know if that's possible. Alternating lines, maybe? Mm. Oh! Mm. Yeah, it could be a little bit messy. Like going like this. Yeah, you could do that. No, it'd be really messy, though. 15, 17, 4. Uh-oh. Back to this again. It's the same same logic though. So you have two and Let's nine, you have eleven. So you need ten in the top. And then you need um so that needs to be ten. There. That's thirteen, so it needs to be nine, and that's seven. I think I'd go with this one first, because this has well, high numbers. No, you, you need to know what each of them are, right? So that's ten, that's nine, and then the bottom with seven would be um fourteen. Fourteen. So ten, nine, and fourteen. Okay. And you can't have numbers multiple like double themselves so the, the five easiest and four so just try five and four okay that yeah. has to be five and then the ten or six and three which is also a possibility uh the ten but not seven and two. Oh, it can't be six and three because there's a six um or seven and two which can't be or an eight and a one which it could be. Or it's so the eight, bottom no, is five and four. the bottom is fourteen. Okay. 
which is seven seven or eight six, which is a possibility. Ugh. Okay. Let's try the eight six first. And then you have eleven, so you need ten in the upper corner. Uh, sorry, the right. Not that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, you just added up. Oh, wait, sorry, no. What am I saying? Oh, that's not possible. No, no, no. Uh, that is 6, 5, 11, 15, so you need 6, so that won't work. No. No, so try changing that one again. So that could be a 9 and a 1. Oops, no. A 9 and a 5. Nope, can't be a 9 and a 5. The opposite way it could be. That's an 8, but oh, I see. Because you can't put a 5 there. Yeah. Okay, so that needs to be a, a three, which it can be, and that needs to be a six, which it can't. Be. Oh no, sorry, seven, right? Two, nine, eleven, seven. But that doesn't work. Okay. So it doesn't seven, six, thirteen, seven. Yeah, it's way too much. Um, so that can be a 10 and a 4, which it can't be, so that means... That is an 8. That, that's not right. Yep. That means that is wrong. Which means that that is going to be... 8, 1? An 8 and a 1 was the only other possibility. It could be either, right? 8 or 1? Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Well, there's no 1s. What? Are you serious? How is there no one? It just isn't. Well, then reverse it. Eight and one. <laughs> no, there just isn't a one. There isn't a one? No, we just oh. haven't been noticing it. Um, oh, that's interesting. So that uh, narrows it down then. Um, uh, they flash. The ones that um, are the ones we put in just barely blink. You, yeah, it should be coming through. I, so... Wait, 7, 6 is 13. Yep. So that's an 8. You're putting it as a 9. 7 plus 6 is 13. Yep. Oh, so that total together. has to be 8. So you had it as Damn 9. It. Or I had it as 9. Okay, so that's We're doing eight. a terrible job here. <laughs> Basic math is failing us. Yes. So it's 5 and a 3. Ugh. Yeah. So if you start with a bad premise, you're going to end up... So it could be either way. Yeah. So just just go with that. And that's 14. The 14? Yeah, the bottom okay. has to be 14. So uh, a 6. Can't be a 6 on eight. that side. It could be 6 and 8, yeah. Uh, it has to be an 8. No, that has to be 2, so that's not going to work. That's 13 plus 6. I would actually reverse the 3 and the 5 there because okay. the 6 is higher and maybe try that. Right, 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 right. Um, okay, so 5, that needs to be a 6. No, can't be a 6. No, it can't. Okay. I'll reverse the 8 and the 6 at the bottom. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, so it's something else. Try something else so with the 14. So it's not 5 and 3. No, it's something else for 14. Oh. Uh, it was an 8 and a 6. Yeah. Okay, so that's a 5 and a 9. Yeah, you can try a 5 and a 9. And the 9 has to be here. 5 has to be there. That's 8. That's 14. That's 7. is a 3. And yeah, 7. That's not... Oh. Yeah! Eventually, eventually you get there by process of elimination. I'm at 60 frames, but if my window is too big, it starts to drop some. Oh, mm. that's not good. Alternating lines. Poor low you... computer that you have. <laughs> my video is a little flickery. Get rid of that garbage. I have to uninstall that. So I thought it was just that. So oh. I'm at 60 FPS, but my window is a bit big, so it starts to drop some. Mm. Oh, no. The the cards that are permanent are solid. 
They're solid. Yeah, solid cards. Mm. So it is now eliminated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Yeah. So we can do this one, then we do this one, and then we, we can do that corner. Then we can do oh maybe we can do a Yeah, you can do that and that. Do a bunch actually. Yeah. Okay, uh that's five. That is fourteen, so uh seven. seven. So so bring us down to the four, so it won't be 15, too hard. Six. And then the the side one there. 11 13 so that's eight and then that just leaves the two yeah. which is easier than three Oof, so much easier. <laughs> many less combos yeah um so that's a 10 and that's an 11 so basically you need a 10 across the top 10 across the top mm -hmm. okay and you need a 11 across there and then you have eight and so you need uh smaller numbers on the right bigger numbers on the left that's eight. What's the eight? So fourteen. What's the no, thirteen. Top? I need ten. So mm -hmm. five and a five, a six and a four. So let's do four and here. Six. Which works so far. And then uh, that would then 11, 10 11, 11, 14. That would be a seven. Six and a five. A seven? No, seven over there. It has to be a seven. Yeah, it does. And then what does that have to be? Eleven. Seven and a four. A so seven or a four. Because there's a four over there and a seven. So we go eight. No, you can't. Three. It's not going to work down that side. So you're done. You're done. Yeah, you're done. So <laughs> so you need to change change the two that were... Go back to blank. Oh, okay. For those two. And then... Uh, so go seven back to the three. six and the four. Seven and three. Which works. Yeah. <clears throat> Twelve, fifteen. So six... And then, what does that leave you with? 8, 10, 16, five. 5. There we go. Hooray! Level 8 now. It's just process of elimination. <laughs> and this, oh, and there's no more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. 6, 7, 8. There, so down the middle. I don't think it's giving us more spaces. No, I don't think it is. I it, think it's just... Because you can't. Otherwise, it just gets crazy. Well, there comes a point where... You just start making your own yeah. stuff up. <laughs> so I think we beat the game. Well, I don't know. I don't know how many levels there are. Maybe there's lots <laughs> of levels. It just keeps going. It just... Let's see if we haven't actually read the instructions. Because <laughs> yeah. it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, it is. Here, you can start working on this one. I'll read the instructions. Do, 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 do. It's a very deadly thing to pass on Aww. atop a cat. Oh, little buddy. Oh, he's the goal the size. of Black Juco is to fill in the blanks within the 4x4 four four grid. Thing? Is it not? You have to press the button. I'm trying to get into the middle. Just keep moving. Left. No, you don't go up, down, left, right. It's left, 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 left. Oh. It's very that's counterintuitive. That's bizarre. <laughs> the movement is super counterintuitive. Um, it's filled in the 4x4 four four grid, so each column in a row totals 21. Any single row or column may not contain multiples of the same card. 2568 would be a valid Vlad uh row or column, while 5556 five, would not. We know that. When you've completed all the rows and columns of the valid Black Juco totals, a win sound is being played and you're on the next level. As you progress through the levels, the difficulty is increased by adding more blanks to the grid. Yeah, to move the cursor from one blank to another, press left or right. To change the value of the card uh, under the cursor, press the fire button while pushing the joystick up to increase the value of the card, down to decrease the value of the card. Tips, fill any lines missing, just a single card first. Yes, make sure they add up to 21. This will often simplify the remaining lines so that they're missing just a single card as well. When you get to a board where you must solve lines with multiple gaps, look at the other cards connecting the rows and columns. If they're already close to already totaling one, and then your missing card values must be low. Mm. If they're far from totaling 21, the missing values must be high, which we figured out. Oh, that's it. So we start with level. Second row is at 2-2. Uh oh, you messed up. Which one? Sorry? The second row is at 22. I keep doing that. She likes to count to 22. I know, I don't know why my brain is I think stuck you like on. the even numbers better. I know. Um, this is going to mess me up now. What was I Which one Oh, was I was it? counting. The first game had two, p two missing, right? There. Sorry? 
The first game of this we played had two missing. Yeah. So each one successive would have one more missing. So we've gone up seven levels. So there should be nine missing, which there aren't. So we have maxed it out. So you're just playing over and over again. Which is fine, but I think we'll make this our last one. Yes. Because we've we've maxed up the difficulty. What? Why? Left and right is for moving it around the board. No, but I'm pushing the button, so it should be changing the card. Yep, up and down is for changing the card. But then if you go side to side, it suddenly moves it, even it though does. the button's pressed. That's, That's a why. problem. That's a problem. It should not do that. Yeah. But it does. Because when you move it, you still can't change the card. It just kind of resets a bit. Thank you, RC70, for that tip. And then you forget that it's up and down. Well, no, because you move side, side, yeah. side, but there's nothing on the screen that shows you that it Where is moved. Oh, uh, yes, that's a problem, too. 17, so it that should. doesn't work. Why did I even think that? Oh, because I had the 9 there before, that's why. So let's try. Put the 4 over there. Ah, stop it! Don't go left and right it when you're pressing so the button. It is so obnoxious! So those are the four last ones. Well, that's nine, so uh, six and three won't work. Two and seven. You have 22 on the first column. See? What? Why do I keep doing that? This Keyboard is, is probably less annoying. Uh, uh, yeah, because you, you shift, and I don't know if I did it wrong or if I've, I've sh accidentally shifted to a cell and messed it up so I'm it just, doesn't I'm just gonna reset it now because I don't know I don't know what I've missed oh. done and I've accidentally moved up and down right okay, okay. you've cleared let's it. try that again I'll help you <sighs> help you really with your counting. I know I know it but I, I some of it's my counting some of it I'm accidentally moving it and not oh. realizing it so so 11 13 that's eight Up and down. Just think increase, decrease. I know, it's really obnoxious. It should allow you to move freely and then, then lock it. Lock it when you go up and down. That would be an improvement, yeah. Yeah. Because if I go up and down without pushing the button, it does nothing. Exactly. But Which you is have, fine. you push Which the button, but if you go side to side when you're pushing the button, it actually shifts. Yeah. Which Which doesn't make any okay. sense. Push the button, yeah. go left, now go up. So that's you, what I mean. So you can move around and start changing things accidentally. Yeah, that's a problem. And that's what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I I'm either adding it up wrong or I'm accidentally changing them and I'm not really sure what at this point. Yeah. So now it's guessing from all of these. Hmm? No, there's the, then you can do this bottom one, but I've redone. Oh, you can? This one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, six. Oh, and then you can do the left one. But I did that before and then they got all messed up. Nine. So you can see why it's very annoying. Uh, so that's nine. And then a four. And you put a five last time. I don't know. Did I? Yep. No, but did I or did I accidentally change it is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I have no idea. I have to replay it. I could have added it up wrong. I could have. I could have. Accidentally What's the point of even it? holding the button? Yes, uh, there is no point. Not be, the way they program it. There is no, no point. point. Yeah, I bet the keyboard is less annoying. Um, uh, nah. Well, the key a keyboard is just the same controls. It's the same controls. Yeah. Um, they just need to not Nine. make it move when you hold down the button. It should lock it in place, and that would fix everything. So it can't be five <clears throat> or four. It could be six. It can't be six or three. So we're down to two and seven. You're doing vertical? Yes. Okay. So if it was two and seven, it would have to be two at the bottom. Yeah. It has to be two and seven. Yeah, it does, because there's no one. That's right. And then it's solved. And we win. <laughs> Five. Five. Uh, eight. 
Eight. Eleven, thirteen, eight. There we go. Now we win the game. Yay! Level I think we'll nine stop is the there. top. <laughs> level nine is the top level. No accidental di diagonal. No, there's no One, diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's not. It's not increasing it. Not at this point, or maybe it is more slowly. Who knows? No. Yeah. Because you start on level one with two missing. Mm. Now we're at level nine, which is an increase of eight levels. There should be ten missing if yeah. they took away a card. They could be making it They've harder, too. They maxed at eight. They could be making it harder, depending on the, the original positioning of the cards. But... Maybe. Yeah. It's like playing Sudoku's the same. The hard Sudoku's have more gaps, but also where the gaps are matter, too, to make it mm, harder. It's true. So... That's true. Anyway. That's mm. true. But we played enough. You get the Mildly idea. Mildly frustrating towards the end. I mean, when you use the keyboard, you don't actually go left or light, oh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah, when you go up I don't. Down. That yeah. wasn't my problem. I was accidentally going, like, left on yeah, purpose. Yeah, because I'm thinking go up to go up to the square, and then I'm accidentally... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If you push <laughs> the button, it doesn't go up or down. Yeah. Um... So or a bunch you of, don't push the button. So, a bunch yeah. of puzzle games today. Yeah! Yay, puzzle Lots games. Lots of fun. I love that you find all the puzzle games. <laughs> although, are... although, I do have to say, you play a lot of RPGs with Erlen. I do like RPGs, I too. You kind of exclusively I give know. them the RPGs. I but know. that's I'm sorry. okay. You know what? When we do a big either group game or a marathon, yeah. we'll have to pull out all these games. So. All the RPGs? Well, not all the RPGs. <laughs> well, when you're all doing a 12-hour marathon, an RPG goes well because that's a long play game, but that's okay. That's true. Yeah. Hi, Kat. Um, so, Matchy, that was a fun game. Mm -hmm. We cleared the board on that one, but you beat me. You got a good score. That was really mm -hmm. good. Um, nothing wrong with that game. Oh, yeah, that's a great game. It's that really, concept's really so simple, and I played it in a bunch of different yeah. other games, and, and that's a fun game. And it's good. It has, like, yeah. uh, random boards as well yes um from a seed it was good oh thanks dan it's mm. tough with puzzles but we made it work <laughs> <laughs> uh melbourne taddy great uh action yeah cute yeah very different kind of puzzle but, not but really. but yeah when you're first looking at it you're like what is going on yeah. the rooms just keep randomly changing but then when you get the hang of it it makes it makes more sense i liked it super yeah. clever use of the uh what is given the background. to you yeah the the background changing yeah the different mazes really really clever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. isolate great conversion of the board game um works well with two players it just needs two joysticks mm. to make it tolerable because we have to pass it back actually use the keyboard which is you wouldn't have that you'd have to pass back no, the joystick back it, and forth. but that's okay yeah it's fine and putting an ai would be good but you can leave it as a two-player game if the ai is too difficult yes. to figure out yeah um and 21 Blue, really, I mean, good graphics. We, we didn't, we we didn't, didn't, didn't look at them we all. We didn't look at the graphics for the um, most part, but very but the gameplay is good. Very complete. Yeah. Blackjack game. Yeah. And, and yeah. a great bonus game, too. Yeah. Which is a really fun bonus game. Yeah, little game. Which yeah. you're able to master fairly quick. It's Sudoku, basically. But, yeah, yeah, it is Sudoku. Yeah. A paired down Sudoku. A paired using, down. Yeah. Using um, cards. Yeah. You could, you, you could, no, because you'd have to plan out the board yourself. Like, you can't just lay down random cards and play that. Just like Sudoku, you can't just no, put no. random No, they're set. Numbers. They have to be set. Yeah. Somebody has to make yeah. it up. Someone has to make it up, yeah. And it was pretty quick at making it up. Like yeah. It went in the background, thinking about it. Yeah. This little little tiny uh, Atari 2600 processor, were in a way. <laughs> Emulated. Mm -hmm. um, so, lots of fun games. Uh, next Wednesday, uh, unfortunately, I have to cancel it because yeah. of... Uh, Erlen's not going to be here, and there's some scheduling issues. I can't come. Can't be yeah, here early so enough. Yeah, so I unless people want to show at like two in the morning. It's not going to be a good time. <laughs> uh, and I've got a lot of stuff coming up, so it's going to keep me very busy. So yeah. it's just probably better just to not have a Wednesday show next week, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and a day to work on the console. There we go. There I we go. Yeah. Put that time <laughs> get into that working console. on the console. Yeah, get that console working. So I put that in the uh, schedule already. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, next Friday, which is with Darcy. With Darcy, yeah. We have some games. Charge, Star Crusade, Armageddon Complex, and Circus Galacticus. Mm. And then this schedule is very open. So if people have suggestions, I'm always open for suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, if people know of some older games... 
that I haven't played or maybe a game I need to play again that I, we didn't give enough time to. I'm fairly up to date on all the new games now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm actually keeping an active list mm. of all the new 2600 games, like literally on the, on the forums. Okay. <laughs> I'm like okay. maintaining it because it's, it's for my own benefit. Yeah. For the 2600 awards. Mm. And also so I know what's coming So that's out. everything in 2020, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's ah. completed and what's work in progress. Excellent. And it's just, and I played all the work in progress mm. and all the completed. Nice. Already. I think pretty much. There's some weird ones in there that are like, I don't even know. It's not even. Don't even know what I it is I can't even yet. do, play it. It's crazy. Mm. Um, but yeah, just uh, let me know if there's anything I haven't. Oh, I didn't take over your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to take over your job. You do a much more complete job than that. Yeah. It's just... Uh, just the current year. Just current year. Current year and list. I keep the basic information. Yeah. It's more like I'm helping you <laughs> with, <laughs> uh, just a little bit with uh, starting yeah. things, alerting you to, to programs. Um, but sometimes if you find something that I haven't found, uh, he always lets me know. Arena Foot always Excellent. lets me know, which is good. Yeah. Um, what else is coming up? Not too much in terms of big things. We need to set a date, uh, for like, um, a, a multiplayer game or yeah. multi, what would you call that? Multiplayer, multi. What I've set it as multiplayer marathon. You yes. Go for the alliteration. Multiplayer, multiplayer marathon. Multiplayer marathon. Nice. Uh, Medieval Mayhem again, of course. Yeah. Uh, Beer Pong. Yeah. Um, yep, which, yep, yep, yep. That was gonna, fun end the show with <laughs> we can actually play it with shots. for a little bit yeah Virtually not shots on, not not or just beer just beer yeah. <laughs> he, james doesn't drink he's not really aware of <laughs> yeah shots yeah We're no done in one game done in no. one game no well, if you lose a, a round you could do that no, like no. a whole round not like it's, each one it's, yeah anyway, no whatever. no um and i've got pressure gauge two on that list as well uh, oh, I did shot Pong once. Just about everyone puked. That would be the result. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's not a good... <laughs> I play drinking games. Gretams, you have to come up for this one then. Drive that seven-hour uh, right. highway drive and you can join us. Can you do a CGE <laughs> Adventures? CGE Adventures. I, I am aware Ooh. of that. Um, we played some adventure games on the show recently. <laughs> Excellent. What was the adventure game we played? Uh, Evil Magician Returns. They all seem so samey to me. Um, what the what? Sorry. Adventure clones. Oh, I see. Where you get the sword, you defeat the thing, you yeah. find the key, you open the gate. Yeah. And all the other ones are just very iterative, derivative. That's the word I'm looking of for. Of each other. Yeah. Of each other. Uh, with I mean, they have graphics. little. They have little twists in them, but yeah. A little bit, and I did look at CG yeah. Adventures. Um, She's down for it. Yeah, okay, she's down for coming for, for shot pong, apparently. <laughs> or drinking games in general, yes. Um, are you supposed to just remind me of CG Adventures if you can um, just post it somewhere on the on the forums mm -hmm. to remind me. And I'll take another look at it, see if it's like different enough, because I am aware of it. But I guess we should play it. Play every single yeah, homebrew no, ever play invented. All. Play them all. Yeah, yeah they're good to, it's good to see to, how they're different too. Well, at least add it to the list of an upcoming game. Yeah. And see what it pairs well with. Yeah. Because I have, I have a bunch. It's nice to have a diversity of, of things you're playing. Yeah. Or I, going on a theme or something like that. Yeah. Because I do have a list of games that I do want to play in the future. Yeah. But it's just pairing them with the right games. Yeah. So they're. Because some, some are really tiny. Yeah. And some are really big. Are, are you getting Erlen to play chess? Yes. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Right now, he's, the, he's quite a chess player. From at least at least his own decent. bragging. He's decent. At least his own bragging. Yeah. So he's yeah. Not a ma chess master. No, no, but I think he he likes. He does the play game. against computer. Yeah. But the chess right now is random movements, so it doesn't have an AI yet. Oh. So we're going to wait for at least a, a simple AI today to put it on the show. Mm. We did briefly show it to say that it's, it exists mm. and it's being worked on. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a two-player option, but I'm terrible, and he'll just wipe the floor with me, so it's not much point in playing two-player chess. So I'm waiting for at least a small AI yeah. that he can do some fun moves with. Okay. It's random right now. I don't think that would be... It'd be okay, but it'd be over in like eight eight or less moves, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, probably, yeah. Because he's, he's, he's quite decent at it. Like, he plays it all the time. Yeah. 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 
No. Um, but yeah, that is on the list. It's already, it's at the, like the top of the work is in progress list. There's a bunch of uh, paddle games that we can't play till I get the console up and working again because this is not going to cut it. No. For paddle, it's terrible. And you need two of them mm. for two-player games. We'll get it up. We'll get it back up and running. And plus all those box games from uh, oh. last PRGE. I mean, <gasps> we've, we've played them all, but I want to open the box and play them again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like in a rapid two, yeah. like two episode run or something, right? Well, two or, or you could just slowly do one, do one an episode too. I mean, they're games we played before, but there's, yeah, yeah. there's, they're just always fun. They're all great games. I mean, I have some seventy eight hundred games up there. I'm waiting for my. Uh, mm. Uh, composite um, mod kit and I'm going to mod my 7800 with a composite mm. mod and then I, I can play some of the 7800 games that I bought uh, Crystal Quest and uh, play Baby Pac-Man again I can play it again I already played it um, I like Baby Pac-Man that's a fun game Yep, and I have yeah. Sydney Hunter as well could play that again or it's a different game mm. Um, yeah, and go through those and play uh, further mm. adventures on Boulder Dash, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't you play 2600 on a 7800, too? That is kind of the plan. Oh. I also bought, not, not really the plan, but I bought two composite mods one for a 7800, one for a 2600. I'm going to do the 2600 first, so I have a real console. Yeah, even so, if it's just composite, it'll work. Composite's fine. Yeah. It's very okay looking. Yeah. It's far from terrible, yeah. but it's far from RGB. Mm. Um, I do not have a 2600 ad uh, adapter. Uh, uh, D9? Is it a D9? Um, anyway, yeah, I don't have one. Otherwise, mm. that would solve my paddle problems because we could play paddle games. Your paddle problems. My paddle problems. Yeah. <laughs> We the problem it, with the paddles. We could play it on the emulator. I, d <laughs> I don't have one and I really should get one. But yeah. I never really had a need to have paddles hooked up to a computer. Yeah. Now I do need a need, have a need. Yeah. But uh, yeah, apparently the uh, composite mods are on the slow boat from wherever they're coming from because they're taking a long time. Mm. Let me just check when they're expected to come. I thought it was at the end of this month, but maybe it was the middle of next month. Put them off eBay. The parts are so simple. There's just like a couple wires and a resistor, and mm -hmm. because it has pretty much all the things built in already, I'm gonna mod an Atari uh, Junior. Um, just cause <laughs> there's more of them. I don't mind destroying one. Uh, mm -hmm. Track package. Uh, let's see where it says right now. February twenty fifth, out for delivery. What? No. I checked it? the mail on Wednesday. Really? When <gasps> was Wednesday? Oh, it was, it's, is, is this US, a US USPS? USPS. Oh. No, 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 no. That was just a long time ago where it came from. February 25th, out for delivery. Where, though? Well, here, here. Out for delivery to here. To customs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right to post office, out for delivery. That means it's coming here. So it should oh, that's be. Weird very very soon it might be in the mailbox but usps doesn't have access to our mailbox no usps it would go through canada post oh well then it'd be in the mailbox maybe it could be yeah i checked on wednesday but i can't remember what time of the day because that yeah this was tuesday it's supposed to come yeah but it was out it was yeah i don't know maybe they messed up i didn't see it in the mailbox could be there now it could have been delayed yes. by day right like that's possible and it doesn't say it went back to the post office no it says out for delivery and then it's Done, but it's not scanned in saying deliver. Yeah. Did you end up uh, using that Wi-Fi SD card with your Harmony card? That was a plan. A, I didn't get it 100% working. Mm. I did get it connecting, I think. I think you had issues I, with it. I, I remember, no, I, yeah. No, I had it connecting. Mm. No, I, I thought I was very, very close. It's it's just for fun, really, because it takes two seconds to load it. Mm -hmm. But that means I just put the Harmony, the SD card, and never remove it again unless I want to pay, play a real game because mm -hmm. I could transfer everything wirelessly. Did you use Brian's uh, UAE mod? No, because I don't recognize that name. Uh, what is UAE? Is that maybe what fried it? No, no, it, it worked after that. 
it could have fried it and took a long time to see it being fried because it would use up a lot more power. I think it was a long time between the Wi-Fi because I took it out and, and didn't use yeah, it. Yeah, you didn't have it in there. And it was out for a very long time. Mm. I mean, unless it... Fried it immediately a, and it took a while for it, it to come took a while up. to, yeah. Yeah. Ultimate Atari Composite S video mod board. It is... Let me look at it. It might be. It says Atari 2600 7800 Composite Mo Video Mod Upgrade Kit. Um, doesn't have a name. It looked really nice. This guy sold 358 of them. Uh, let's see if it has a name associated with it. Oh, you can find my installation guides from Vintage Gaming and more video instructions here. So I might give his actual name. I might go to here. Maybe this is a video. Oh, maybe it is. Come on. <laughs> Goes to a blank screen. I know. Enthralling. This is an unassembled kit. Uh, be sure to, out to check out my Atari 2600 pause kit. So if anybody knows, it gets really clean looking. Uh, it's sold by PAGS. Oh, I've lost it. PAGS35. So if that's who it is, I don't know. Or if he's reselling them. Mm. The UAE mod I wrote you about and said pictures, it's a whiteboard. It is not a whiteboard. <laughs> it's a green board. It's really nice looking though. Vintage gaming Works and more. Works on all Atari models, he says. So. Um, yeah, this one does work on uh, 7800, Atari 2600 as well. Mm. Oh, if it's crap, I'll get the one you suggested. Mm. And we'll see if it works. Try it. Give it a try. Yeah, because yeah. this one's kind of on its way. It's supposedly in the mailbox right now. Supposedly. 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 <sighs> So thank you everyone for hanging out today mm -hmm. and enduring the uh, puzzle games. Hopefully it was interesting. Yeah, I think it was fun. It Maybe. was a lot of fun for me. Yeah, I mean it's more <laughs> fun playing them than watching them usually. But these, these were these like, were all pretty fun. I think other yeah. than the last one, which was basically Sudoku on the screen. Yeah. Uh, they were all they were all pretty pretty good games. So, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll inspire you guys to go out and play them as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out. Uh, Iceposta, RC70, Thunkus, Gretums, Arena Foot. Good, glad you could join us today. Dan AVC, RC70. Oh, let's see. Kev73, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Charles Reese. Uh, I think you're almost. Almost at the top. Nathan Strum. Oh, Nathan Strum. Empire Strikes. I think that's spam. I think so too. Just generic, but Just it keeps seems scrolling. very directed, though. Yeah. Uh, like personalized. Yeah. Ricardo, Ricardo Pym. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Ooh. Good games. Yes. Well, thank you very much. They were fun games. Yeah. 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 I enjoyed all of them. They're yeah. all really good. Yeah. So good choice. Good choice. Thank you very much. <laughs> I try. There's a lot of there's a lot of really simple games that I do pass over that aren't enough of a game to even show yeah you almost want to squish those into like 20 at a time and you're just like bang 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 yeah yeah mm, mm. it's a lot of more research to do that's true maybe much later yeah we'll go through games that have like a seed of promise it's like yeah. these should be continued but weren't like they weren't developed enough but they had something to them they had some 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 little spark there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so maybe i'll do yeah, that that'd be cool yeah, yeah. um because i've done that before where I've played a bunch of tiny, tiny, tiny little yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, we've played them, yeah. So uh, that's it for today. We're going to be back mm -hmm. next Friday. We're off this next Wednesday. Uh, hopefully I can uh, mod some stuff, get back to real Atari playing. Yes. There's yes. like a very high chance, because now we have two options. Mm. The composite mod, two composite mods, and fixing my original Atari, mm. which is the ultimate goal. Yeah. Um. And so we'll be back next Friday with Darcy. Mm -hmm. And then back to our regular scheduled programming mm -hmm. for Wednesdays and Fridays after that. Excellent. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out. And we will see you next time. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night and a good weekend. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs>